Where do they find those samples, you know? Like, wh- how many kids can talk about going to somewhere that they haven't been? And, like, different ways, you know what I mean? Say that again? Like, kids going... Okay, so, like, a kid dreaming that they want to be somewhere else is, okay, like, Okay, so if I take a dream, lo-fi. and I'm like, oh, I want to go to Africa. Well, they're like... I just wish I could get on a spaceship and fly far away. Um, and they're like talking to like their mom and they're like, well, one day if uh, you can do And then it's like, oh, through music. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got you. I got so you. It's like, that's like, it's like a theme. They did that with jazz though. Oh, right. Which is fire. I'm a big jazz fan. I love the jazz. Absolutely. Cowboy Bebop. Shout out to Cowboy Bebop. Shout out jazz. <laughs> As a whole. Shout out Miles Davis, if you're watching this. From I need more jazz artists. Heaven. One thing about me, yeah, can't remember names that well. No one, zero names. I can't. Remember I can't remember names character either. names. I don't know about real people names. I can't remember names at all. Like some people know first and last names. Like yeah. Like they'll be like. Do you remember oh, my name? Connor. Okay, good. I don't <laughs> know the last. <laughs> if so, I so know your happened. last name. You're very important to me. Okay, like, so I'm just I'm just Connor. You're important, <laughs> but like I mean, like you're like my mother important. <laughs> I am. No, no. If I remember your oh, last name, right, right. Because like, your mother is your last name. Like I, I barely remember my girlfriend's last name. That's because I okay. just started dating her. Well, I mean, right. we could start the podcast if you want. We haven't really technically started this. Oh, so I got I would have to intro you and stuff. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Dude. Okay. <laughs> That's how it normally goes. Okay. You're spicing it up. Yeah, see. Fuck. So if you if you bring if you turn this. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. Three, two, one, let's go. Hey everybody. Welcome to Getting Groovy. This is the show with the man that is sitting on he, on this side. And that's me, Connor Mink. I'm on I, his left side. He's on the left side. He who shall not be named. Which is uh, your right side if you're viewing this. Yeah. Yo, oh, right. If he's on my left. I'm on your left. So we're all technically on each other's left. I'm, I'm on his left. Right. Which is also his nine. Do you guys know who this is? <laughs> do Do I even have to explain? So this wait, wait, this wait, guy. Wait. If if we're in the military, right? And you know how there's the six and you're twelve, right? Yeah. Wait. No. Go Am back. I on what your is nine that? or your three? Or do you guys? It depends on if I'm paying attention to you or not. Because if I am, like if I'm... Like if we're going through a corridor if right I'm on, now. Oh, no, 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 okay. Like, right, right. boom, guns blazing. I'm on, we're going through a corridor. Am I on your three or your nine? You're on my nine. I'm on your nine? Yeah, because okay, 12, 12 is forward. Nine so I'm be, on their three. In a way. But they would also, if they were pointed towards you during the podcast, because they're like, who the fuck is this other kid? Because I know you have a lot of fans. But it also counts if you're using a sundial or not. A sundial to tell the time or to <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Paul Knight, everyone. He he may need not need an introduction. That was his introduction, I think. Um, but Paul Knight, he's a you're a photographer, right? You're a video videographer. I know you want to get more into films. Yeah, I did know. I did know that. I did some research. I've watched your vlogs nice. on Paul Lowell Knight. Yes, There's sir. There's two L's because Someone he's... stole the one with the... If you look up Paul Knight Wait. on Instagram right now... Not There's... Instagram. Just even like... Don't put it on YouTube because I would search for Paul Knight. And then I was There's like, like, like some Paul random Knight? dude. There's there's a random um, dude. There's like three random dudes. Three randos. Three randos. I think one's like an engineer or something like that. Fuck who... that. <laughs> he has like 3,000 subscribers, though. That's he's doing sad. something. Yeah. But he's like 42. Right. He's getting it down. Shout out to that Paul Knight. Because we, we have the same name. Shout out to all Paul Knights. So I know I was Connor just Mink. Like, I, I friended him on Instagram and we've talked. Listen to this. Yeah. There was, I think in June, right? right? Random Paul Knight in the world decided to get every Paul Knight that had an account on Instagram mm-hmm. and make a group chat with all of us. With there Instagram? Was, yes. There was, was 30 it? of us, I think it is, or something to the limit of just all Paul Knights. Right. And he goes, he goes, what's up, all Paul Knights? How are you guys doing? 
we all have the same name. I was, yeah. like, I was just like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I participated in one other one, and then like everybody like, else was like, this is whack. The Paul Knight convention. The Paul Knight convention. That's it was weird. amazing. And I was like, Post-COVID, I wonder. Post-COVID, you guys are going to meet in like a hall. And I you guys think set so. up tables. I'm going to be like, honest. I don't think so. This is the this is the cinematography Paul Knight. I think two Paul this Knight's is... fault. Like oh, in, the Paul, <laughs> in the group chat. It's was, bound to happen. <laughs> Who's, at any convention who's the better <laughs> who's more paul and i, and I was just like well, yeah. it made me feel good though I, well, I had the most followers out of all of them so i was like hell yeah so you're the, they're the leader of the knights i'm the leader but i i was unsung <laughs> hero there oh now it see okay knights of the round table now it's a, knights of the round table you gotta all get them all paul together because nobody's creative right to take away the name well, I, I would talk about this if you'd like, because I do think your name sounds really cool. And I think not a lot of people could say that about their, like, actual I, name. I have got that. The funniest thing yeah. I've gotten one time about my name was, I bet you get any job. <laughs> <laughs> You're a shoe in She was a, yeah. I, it was, it was a, a female. We were just talking about, like, names and stuff like that. Yeah. And I told her my name was Paul Knight, like, K-N-I-J-S-T. And she was just like... That flows off the tongue. I bet you put that on like an application, mm-hmm. and they're well, automatically yeah, like, name. give them the interview, like, like, absolutely, like, put them above the rest. Mm-hmm. Well, Wrong. that's honestly, at, and to be at, honest, she's not wrong. <laughs> well, how, so how many jobs have you applied for, and how many jobs have you gotten? Because <clears throat> my my ratio got lower last year. I will say that. Oh, I've had you know a lot I mean? of jobs throughout my life. Yeah, I've gotten ninety percent of them. I think. Like you've gotten, have you at least gotten uh, an interview in all of them, or have you all got, of them interviews? Yep, that's. But my first the ever true. interview, I bombed terribly. Mm-hmm. So well, that was you weren't Paul Knight yet. You were I just, just your P Knight, just PK. Man. PK, yeah, you're PK. PK. You put PK on there, and I they're like, like, all right, 15, we'll put him in. I think that's 15, yeah. 16. A little PK, a little PK, man. Yeah, skateboard P, man. Skateboard P, yes, Paul Rodriguez. Shout out to Paul Rodriguez. Shout out, shout out to the comedian Paul actually, Rodriguez. His dad, he, really? Yeah, his dad is a comedian. His his dad was like really popular in the eighties, I believe. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So and I mean now well, he's kick flipping, tray oh, flipping yeah, all the no. way down the street. He's breaking bones. Famous. Just just breaking bones for the, the public. Jesus you know? Christ! Doing all sorts of ramps. You know the British uh, skateboarder is Nigel Houston. Who? Nigel Houston. I don't know who that is. He's sick, bro. If you look up Nigel Houston clips, nasty, bro. Okay. I have a I have an edit on this channel for Ishad Ware. Do you know who that is? I have no idea. Rides for he, b- boards for Nike, I believe. Oh, that's fire. Nike though. SB. That's yeah. fire. I did bro. a chamber of reflection edit with him and some other guy that Word? I found the clips online and I was just like, let me just throw some. It's got like 2,000 views. Love skateboarding, bro. Solid. Scorp- skateboarding is the shit. That's like what got me into making movies, I believe. I, used I wanted to skateboard to, when I was a kid. I was going to say, I wanted to skateboard and okay. I just was afraid. To, to be hurt. <laughs> so I was like, I could film these That's guys. That's 80% the battle, though. Yeah. No, 100%. It's, it's that's 100% 80% the battle. 100%. It's, it's just getting over that fear. Well, that's why I'm like, I can pick up a camera and have much less risk attached to my name, I even though there is some. But I'm, you know, I got into that. You know what? Now that I think about 15, it. 15, 13. Me my friends used to make, like, skateboard clips. Yeah. When I was a kid, I never thought about it. But I guess that's also where, like, mm-hmm. a little bit of videography came from. Mm-hmm. I didn't edit, though, anything back Well, then. right, yeah. A lot of those videos from, like, you know, 12 to 13 and 14 are god-awful. They're shit. <laughs> they're shit and a half. But <laughs> they're where you started. Lens? Oh, well, if you got that, that's... You're halfway. You're eighty percent there. Major. I never even knew that was Honestly. a fish eye. I was just like, we need that thing mm-hmm. that makes it super wide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you didn't know any. Because honestly, at, at a, such a young age, you're just like, that's cool. Like you don't even. Can you explain why skateboarding is cool? It's the it's just general, super the cool. Adrenaline, the adrenaline rush is just yeah. like amazing. Mm-hmm. I I love adrenaline. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I'm addicted to it. Where I don't think any any artist is gonna be an addict to like you know. Just admiration in a way, but that would also lead to like the adrenaline of fear to be judged. You I know, see, that's was, like it's like a pair. That's why you know the most yeah, embarrassing you know. thing. <laughs> I heard that the most embarrassing thing though when I was a kid in skateboarding, yeah, is like people would be like, they'll do like these flips, right? Like tray flips, laser flips, and I never knew like the Insane. difference, right? Mm-hmm. Because like. I just saw it as the board was spinning. I was just like, damn, it just spins. They were, so I was like, how does he know that's a tray flip? He was like, the way it spins. I would like watch my friends 
all day. Do like tray flips, lasers, and, mm -hmm. and stuff. I'm just looking at it like. I wish I had your friend. What is the difference? Yeah. <laughs> The one goes left, one goes right. Yeah, it's so fakey. Yeah. There's, then there's um, Nolly. Then there's mm -hmm. like, it's just like switch. Mm -hmm. It's just like how you do it. And that's like the, uh, the I knew, I, okay, so a heel flip is when you use your heel to flip it on the left side. I have side. a crazy story about a heel flip. Okay, and then just a quick, a kick flip for the audience is when you kick the board to the right, and then that will go that yes, way. Sir. And that's all I know you about skateboarding. Flip. I don't want to kick that. Yeah. You got to flip your... Real your quick, leg. before your story, skate skate three? Skate three. Fire. 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 Top top ten. Top ten games of all time. Top ten. Honestly. Maybe maybe top seven. Uh, five, six? Who knows? That's a close call. I will say it's skate, tough. skate skate three. Provided a lot of hours. A lot of hours. Too Just many. getting it down. Too Just many. Just like... Uh, Get, landing uh, in a in a nose manual yeah, then flipping man. then landing again dude getting pissed off turning the game off then being bored and then turn it back on because you don't know what else to do exactly. all the time all Ex the time. exactly <laughs> that modern warfare 2 are the most infuriating games of all time but man, also so many the most fantastic games. games but go back to heel flip story heel flip so boom i think it's my senior year of high school gotcha and i'm I, this is like during about to be like the last week of school so you know all the kids are out i'm, I'm go to hutch tech at the time okay and at emerson and hutch tech get out almost at the same time so you can and i and i take the train so the train is packed right i'm mm -hmm. going down the street uh we're all going down chippewa and me and my friends are going and i see where this... no crimes happen ever <laughs> go ahead and um <laughs> just saying and i see these like kids skating right and i haven't skated in like a year mm -hmm. like i put down skating when i was like my junior or sophomore year of high school i think it was junior year it gets stopped. really hard um i think it's just because my friends went to college and, that too and moved away so i was just like or a different group of friends mm -hmm. and so um and I'm with my friends, and I'm just like, yo, I'm about to see if he'll let me use his board. I'm about to try, like, a heel flip or something, something I've never done, mm -hmm. right? And I look like I don't skate. I got on Jordans, you know, jeans. You look like you would maybe skate right now. Right now, maybe, yeah. like, yeah, if you yeah. bust it out. But then it was just, like, straight, like, jeans, Jordans, mm -hmm. like, fresh pair, too. Mm -hmm. And like a hoodie and just like a book bag fresh out of school. Yeah. Straight Never, New York. Exactly. New York. Never landed a heel flip before this. Nah. Never. Like I tried many times. Never landed it. Not even close. I get it. He's looking at me like, yo, don't hurt yourself. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like I, I'm seeing him struggle with a uh, ollie. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I do this heel flip. I land it. My whole body inside is screaming. They're all going crazy. I just hand yeah. back the board and walk away. When I get on my when I get on the train, I look at my friends. I'm like, that's the first time I've ever did that. <laughs> They're like, that's literally like you literally caused an explosion to happen. Walked away, didn't look back one bit, and then, and then just, just them, like, and then you got in the car and you were like, that was awesome. I like I was like I almost shit myself. That was <laughs> sick. I'm so cool. <laughs> This is the best the day of my life. Oh, yeah. I felt so accomplished. You know what? Here's something funny. So I, I have done about two tricks in my life that I can call like a trick that I've landed. One is an ollie because I, you know, I, I figured that out. Yeah. And that was like, I was cool and I could do that. And like every once in a while I see a skateboard, I'm like, yeah, you're trying to, you know. And then I get it. So impressive to, a, to an extent. But then Pop Shovitz came into my life. Pop shove is different. And man. I was trying so hard in my backyard to just pop. figure that shit out. Just pop it. Just pop. It's not even that hard. You just take a step. You literally take a step with this foot, and then you step you, with that foot, man, and then you get back on it. I was the it. same way. And then you're just like, why is this so hard? All my friends then, could wait, do crazy wait, tricks. Real quick. Right before I landed it, I was like, all right, this is the last goddamn time I'm doing it. I fucking did it. And then I, I stopped. I was done. And I went inside. I was done. Can can't do it again. You know what you did? I've right never there? doing it again. You did those one of those things. You're like, um, you ever face someone in like a one v one like a million times and they beat you every time, mm -hmm. but then you win that one time. Yep. You just walk away. You go out on top. I was like, I, like I, dude, I know no, how to come do back. it. I've done come it. back. No, no, we gotta run it back. You're yeah, like, dude, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I have other appointments. Sir. I have other... <laughs> You're like, but... <laughs> I've asked to kick over but... on uh fucking Halo. But I was definitely those uh that um that friend were like i couldn't do 
all the crazy tricks my friends were doing. Like mm-hmm. like I said, my friends were doing like tray frips, laser frips. Do you pick and, up a camera and take credit? That's how you do it. Hey. That's <laughs> but I didn't really pick up a camera back then all right. that much. I won't say like two or three times. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But um but I did like a kick flip, an Ollie, and then like a shove it. Mm-hmm. I can get down. Yep. Pop shove if it gets high. Like right now up. you could do that? I think I can do like a pop shove and an Ollie. Okay. Not no kick flip though. Yeah, heel flip. I mean, that's a wild card. At it's this a point. wild card, I mean, bro. I got it once in my life, and I pulled it out the books. Like, <laughs> that's a back pocket item. That's a back pocket sure. item that Absolutely. I don't know can, if I can land it again. Hey, it's it's up to the time the that it occurs again. You know what I mean? Okay. Like it's it is no one's uh, it is in no one's hands but the universe's. And whether you just, you just whether you're flow. feeling it that day or not, you know, you might get on that board. Just let it know. I had the full confidence to get on that board. That Absolutely. Day. And I I'm mean, so that's proud of honestly, that's so okay. So I can make a good transition from that into your confidence into cinematography because oh. I learned that you were 19 and you mm-hmm. just put out a got a loan and bought a camera, and that's some baller shit. Oh, you where you're like, I'm sorry. I don't know. I I watched the vlog, so I could bring yeah, it up. That story is on the vlog. Um, you could you could watch his vlogs at Paul Little Knight on yep, YouTube. Yeah, two L's, two L's. Paul Little Paul Little Knight. Um, so. It's the the story is kind of interesting because like um when I was like so so throughout my life I wanted to be a veterinarian I, I've told this story like a bunch of times hell yeah um not on a podcast not on a podcast this is your first podcast first podcast so I wanted to be a veterinarian and like my whole life like four years old mm. there was like I think it was like four or five or six there was three things I wanted to be a veterinarian mm-hmm. philosopher hell yeah dude. <laughs> The most, the most money, it, or, like or, you can make so much money in or that like field. a firefighter, just like because my uncle was a firefighter. Oh, so right, I was right. Like, all right, cool, cool. There was the example. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was just like, all right, I'll be a vet or a philosopher. I even cut out firefighter when vet. I was like nine. I was like, nah, I don't want to fight fires. That's like life or death. That like, sounds hard. <laughs> that sounds really hard. I'm gonna leave that to the. I'd rather say man, because all I was watching at the time when I was that Animal young Planet. age was Animal Planet. Yeah, absolutely. And the History Channel. Yo, Keegan Michael Key. On the animal planet? Yes, bro. All night. So it was just like that and, and the, what was the other one that, um, cause they will give you fun facts about like animals, like the, like the dog being able, like it's like has the jaw force of, um, of, of like an alligator or something like that. It was like, like a like, certain dog. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. It, it was like that. I forget, I forget what that one's called. I just keep thinking of Zaboom of Food. Like deadliest Zib- animals or some, prob- something. Probably. Like probably. But I was like super intrigued by that. Mm-hmm. And I watched like the history channel. Just, after watching cartoons, I was just oh, yeah. like, oh, I wonder what's on History Channel. Like, what? Quick, Zaboomafu. You know that at all? You know what that is? What is that? It's like a lemur. There's two guys and a lemur, and they're hanging out. I think I They're actually, Australian, I believe. Again, I'm terrible with names, but I think I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> How about. How are you going to forget Zaboomafu? Yeah, bro, I am terrible with names, bro. But I think I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, it's that show's legit. But other than that, keep... I think I, I've only seen like two episodes. I just wanted to insert Zaboomafu into this podcast. Zaboomafu. I like saying it. You won't forget the name after today. Does it mean anything? Uh, it means kick-ass lemur in Australian, <laughs> I believe. See, you look it up and, and on Google kick-ass, it says yeah. kick-ass lemur. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, that's what I thought. Z- Zaboomafu. I'm going to start saying that. That sounds, like a, that sounds like an Earth, Wind, and Fire song. <laughs> Zaboomafu. So... <laughs> So boom! I can't get that high. I was like, so my whole life was yeah, just vet, thinking vet, veterinarian, vet, 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 mm-hmm. vet. Realistically, because I'm like, who's a philosopher nowadays? Like, <laughs> Alan Watts is dead. Name me top two philosophers in 2021. In 2021, uh, Gucci Mane, mm. and uh, I would say his his All card. Of his, clan. His, so no, yeah, that and. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, no, the RZA, yeah, honestly, that's the RZA for sure. He's the he's the only other no, one. Not every I single was, member of Wu Tang Clan, which is about one point seven million people, are and they're all really good. <laughs> <laughs> There's just saying, Wu Tang Clan doesn't even know how many members they got. No, they're, they're just like, like, oh shit, you're here. Like, now they got a convention. No, yes, that for sure, which is nuts. Wu Tang Khan is the which is nuts. <laughs> you can. That is crazy. Absolutely. There's people who has like tattoos, beards, mm-hmm. never even. That's crazy. <laughs> With the W? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's insane. Gross. I seen it the other day. I, it was right on Google. I was like, wow. Wu-Tang, you got to keep doing that. 
Or are you talking about like a? Are you talking about a beard? Yeah. So like you just shave it. that like weekly? I didn't do it, but oh. they had it. They had the Wu Tang Clan beard. Right. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is insane. I mean, I I wouldn't personally keep that up, but if that's like a one time occurrence, maybe it's a cool picture. If, if you do that every single week, <laughs> you, you need to get paid. Like your barber, <laughs> you go to your barber and he's like, you, you getting the Wu Tang again? He's like, yep. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Yep. Just, like, <laughs> People Gross. are going like, why does he have the Wu Tang? <laughs> he comes in here every week. He gives us a thousand dollars. I have to do it <laughs> every week. Every week, a thousand dollars. Yeah, this guy's got four grand a month dropping on Wu Tang. I mean, well, how how much money would you get paid to put a Wu Tang symbol on your chin for a barber? Like for well, if you were the barber and right. someone came in and asked you that for a Wu Tang, what's plan. what's your price? I think like sixty bucks. Six? Okay, each yeah. time. I think that's fair. A thousand is like to, you to, can't say no. I gotta design it, right? Like, like so. have you seen uh, Django? Yes. So remember when he's like, you gotta ask such a ridiculous amount that, that he has to consider it. That's what you gotta do, but with the Wu Tang logo. And if this guy comes in, this wealthy billionaire, who just wants the Wu Tang logo but shaved, but it's a regular chin. guy. He's not even a billionaire. No, he he's, looks like a he looks like a dirt ball, but underneath. You, got you think he has a billion? That would be crazy. Yeah, well, I that's, guess you're right. That's uh, Silicon Valley now, I guess, from what I know. Which is true. You know, Rick Rubin, that guy looks like a ball of dirt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that guy looked like he just crawled out of a hobbit hole. <laughs> Absolutely. I will say, great billionaires, music. fantastic music. I will say, billionaires do have a certain look of just like regular lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You gotta. Like, they just look like they wear a polo and some khakis. And they're like, yeah, my bank account has one point two billion dollars in it. And mm-hmm. you're like, huh? Like, I could I could feed most of America with what is in my account. You like, Dude. and I look like I haven't eaten in days. But you know what's insane? They'll still like those yeah. khakis mm-hmm. will still cost. Oh, eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. That polo he's wearing, it, it might look like a polo he got from Walmart. Mm-hmm. That's. Fifteen dollars. No, that polo costs seventeen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And also, if it gets wet, you gotta throw it out. You have to. You gotta. It's the garbage. It's thing. a one-time polo. Uh huh. You wear it once, and the bot your body sweat actually corrodes the the material. I didn't know that <laughs> that billionaires only wear real. certain brands. Like if you're a fashion billionaire, you mm-hmm. wear certain brands on certain days of the week. Like um, they won't wear Dior on Wednesdays. Well, if see, you give me Dior. <laughs> I'm wearing that any day. But the problem is, is that I feel like they are at such a point where it's like, like when you're too big to fail, you got to start manufacturing problems in your life that you can solve that aren't actually real problems. So that you, you, you can't, you don't want to deal with the, the fact that you can literally provide homes for people around the world. You want to deal with the fact that on Tuesdays, Chanel just really isn't what you feel. And so, like, you know what I mean? And so, but they That's, judge people who wear yeah. Chanel on that. Well, Tuesday. they gotta fill their day with that. There's so many, you know. I guess so. You make up that problem. Yeah. So back up. So we gotta go so back vets. to my 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 vets. You're a okay. vet. <laughs> vets do not make billions. No, billions. not at all. Cinematographers. Cinematographers. Keep going. So before I get there. So boom, I'm in college. Um, and vet school. I'm at Kanisha's. Uh, they 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 provided me like a nice for pet. Adoption. <laughs> so they have this help. thing called ABEC, but okay. I'm in a. I was in a program called uh, HEOP. Mm. So you couldn't take any science your first year, mm-hmm. um, until after the program and everything like that. So you can take your electives. So I took all the. I'm thinking I'm going to be a vet anyway. So I'll take all the electives until the sophomore year. Then I'll take the science. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Get them out of the way. Sort of. So thing. I my whole freshman year I took all the electives for. Uh, ABEC, I'm doing calculus, I'm doing all this ridiculous... People love it. <laughs> all this ridiculous stuff. And as soon as sophomore year comes, and I sit in that ABEC classroom, I'm looking around and I'm like, this is not for me. No. Like, like first, like first five minutes, I've never had something in my whole life say, just leave. Mm-hmm. Like, like in, in my body was just like, just go. Like well, the, something whispered in my ear. Yeah, this ain't for you, but that's, check it out. I was talking to uh, Matt and Andrew Canada of Two in the Cooler, which is the sticker that you got right there. And I was telling them, like, some people, like, so Canada apparently has, like, a high school, like, that you can go extended high school, like 12B is, I guess, what it's called. So you can go again, mainly for, like, sports scholarships and, like, get more, you know, 
gotcha. scholarships in general. So they were talking about that, and they were said his one friend did that, and then immediately he was like, nah, this is not, why am I here? So he just left. And that was like, I, I said that. <coughs> so a lot of people, I feel like, have this thing in them where they're like, they don't, like they have this uh, picturesque idea of what they want to do in their head, and then until they start, like until they get to the starting block, they're not going to know whether they want to do it or not. I, th- I think it was my gut that just told me. Well, like, that's what I mean. Like you literally sat in that class and you were like, this is what this class is. And you're like, this is not it. Like as the professor was going on. That's a human thing. And then I was I'm like saying. looking around the room. I mm-hmm. was just like, these aren't my people. These mm-hmm. aren't like for me or anything like that. Right. So then I went to my counselor and I was like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like i thought you crisis. wanted to do yeah. this and that and i was like i, I don't and she was just like what are you doing at the time and at the time what i was into I, I just put out like a a gaming video that me and my friend marshall just did and i got a whim it was uh it was a uh, battlefield what is that world at war or whatever it was like that's call of duty no, no, no. It was Battlefield, though. But I forget which world, one was. The was, World War One one. I think so. Yeah. I know you're talking about the Revolution thing. It, but it was in like 2016 or, no, it wasn't or something like that. 2017. I know you're talking about. And um, just put that you out. You know, Rebels. Something, something like rebels that. Rebels and other yeah, other ones. Fighting Germans and <laughs> other stuff. So You know, the just dead ones. Tanks, yeah. planes, and explosions. Boom, boom. And it's just what they do. That's Battlefield. That's Battlefield in a nutshell. But you can't it's, really trick shot. That's the nah. only difference. That that's Battlefield in a nutshell, though, is snipers, tanks, buildings, dying, dying, <laughs> dying, 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 and planes. That's what. I, that's how I never got into it. I just was so bad. I was at so the, at the jump. I was. I was so into it. parachuting down, sniping. I but I was the guy sniping on a mountain somewhere, mm. getting like six hundred meter kills. That's getting, the only way I'd be able to play hate it. Messages. <laughs> You know what's funny? Real quick sidebar, and then we'll get back to your story. Gotcha. Hanzo. You know Hanzo from Overwatch? You've ever played that? You've seen anything about that? I, I've i I've played Overwatch. Yeah. I don't remember the name. So Han, right. He's a bow and arrow guy. Okay. The guy that's like... Does he have everyone, a sword? No. I, no, that's no, the it's ninja Genji. guy. Yeah, Genji, okay, I, I, I like his Genji. Name. But Hanzo, first, second time I played the game, I don't know what match I was in. I don't know what was going on. I've heard Hanzo was overpowered, and they've like, you know... I got like 40 something kills in a row. Jesus. First life. First Jesus. time I've started this game. Jesus. This is this is my kickflip or my heel flip moment where I was just like, I guess I'm just good at this game. And then I kept playing and I'm like, no, I'm not good at this game. Uh, and who was, was, who was yeah. the guy? I think his name was like Warthog. He was like a big fat dude mm-hmm. and he had like a shotgun. He can pull people in and like. You got it, yeah. So I believe so. He was OP because I always get murdered by him. Mm-hmm. I, he, he, I remember one dude had like 50 kills. Yeah. And I was just like, how? But that just it reminded me of that moment if we were talking about games. But. Your story. Boom. So real quick, uh, you know this this whole podcast is a tangent podcast. So yeah, don't feel I'm bad. I'm a tangent person. Good. So it's okay. It's good fit. So I had um, I just made that battlefield video. And my, all my friends were laughing. We were just having a good time. At the time, I was using Sony Vegas. Hell yeah, dude! I remember <laughs> Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas, making videos. And it's, it, Sony Vegas. It's good enough. It's good enough. That's it's, that's the that's, that's the, the model. If, honestly, and so <laughs> <laughs> I just so I told her that she was like, "Well, here at Kadisha, we have uh, digital media arts uh, DMA," and she was like, "You you can go try out their introductory like intro, um, uh, introductory introduction something something yeah." I don't know. The so intro, well, intro to introducing. In, intro to introducing yes. digital media arts. 101. But um, she was like, you can try it out, the 201 class or whatever. And I'm like, all right, cool. As soon as I sit in there, my girl was like, you did it. <laughs> Your body was like, yes, this one. Nice one. This one. You Your got choice. it. Correct. So we could we can go into that with uh, Brody Walsh. He, Brody, yes. He was in your class. Yes, Brody. Well, I had a, or at I had one a few. Point. Yeah, I had. A, yeah. I think I had like two or three classes with Brody. Brody Walsh of Ultra Bird Visuals. I don't me know if I had him in that first class though. Mm. But okay. Like um, in that first class, he was farting around over there. I've heard. <laughs> Brody's hilarious. He's the best. So um, he'll beat my ass, and I'll take it. That's fine. Brody, Brody's a, a so killer. He, he's he a could. killing machine. He's yeah. like a shark. That's like your friend. He, and you're like, I'm cool with this. Like he can legit murder somebody <laughs> if he wanted to. Like it makes him a helpful writing partner. Only for certain realism. people should have that ability. Like if I had the ability to murder somebody, yeah, 
with my bare hands. That's a responsibility. Imagine, you know, Spider Man. Come on, dude. you hear you hear you ever seen that? I, if I could murder you with my bare hands right now, full confidence, like a hundred percent confidence, would you? I, I would just be looking at you, like I would just be in the room, though. Like, go like, watch the podcast. It's pretty much that. Every every room I would be in would just be like just looking at you, like yeah, just full. So you'd be like, "Are well, you that's, okay?" That's and a I'm bouncer, like, yeah. you know. That's that's what bouncers should be. That's what bouncers, you do. know. And I think Brody wants to think of himself as more than that. So I don't know if we should be doing him a service by saying this. But I'm, also, shout I'm out Brody from Brody. Yeah. Killing people. Brody does not kill people. Brody has not killed anyone, to my knowledge. Uh, actually, I think he is a gentle being. I believe so, yeah. I think he saved three butterflies. I I don't know if the last one made it, but I think he was. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit too R.I.P. R.I.P. last butterfly. Uh, R.I.P. Stanley. R.I.P. Stanley. Flat Stanley. Flat Oh, I thought you were talking about Stan Lee, the, the comic book artist. No. No. R.P. R.P. Stan Lee, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. R.P. Larry King. R.P. Larry King. Uh, who else died? Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. R.P. a lot of people. R.P. the, the peeps. Damn, 20 to 2021 is a rough year. Yeah, it's been tough. Uh, let's let's so just keep going back in the past. I was going to say, are we rounding <laughs> the end of the... Um, are we getting to the loan? Are we, we should end with the oh, loan. Okay, so I'll end with the loan part. So Cause uh, I, that's crazy to me that you're just like, give me money. And they're like, your name's Paul Knight, so <laughs> here you go. So um, I had... Uh, you know, we normally don't do this, but you seem pretty fucking cool. So here, here you go. <laughs> I actually don't know how I did it. I'm going to be honest. So, I, um, so I'm in digital media arts, and I'm, I'm loving the editing. I'm loving the... Uh, creative ability i i where i come from i had no idea you can make money or just like sustain living just off of creating art Mm -hmm. like you know i come from like the east side of buffalo you know i i come from a very uh black community where it's put down a lot Mm -hmm. um redlining all types of stuff you know public school gerrymandering it's it's terrible but where i come from there i had no idea you can fuck the government (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I had no idea you can um like you can be a like photographer filmmaker mm-hmm. you can you can be uh other, anything other than like with art uh, like a, a rapper or a musician so like someone's just, gotta do it yeah That's, so I didn't yeah. know about these background people you know like when you look at a magazine mm-hmm. you 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 look at the the person in the photo you don't think about who took the photo mm-hmm. or, and I was just Absolutely. like okay um. And when I went to the digital media arts, they're they're telling you about the background people and like what you can make, what you can do, all of that. So I'm getting into that, and then like, um, my professor was like to the students, you could rent out a camera, you know, test That's out the, shit. the things that you want to do. So they had like, what they I think they had like 60 Ds mm-hmm. up there. They had like a, a T3I or whatever up there. Like I said, like like a Sony Vegas. 60D. It's good it's enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. Just fucking get with up and go 50, do something. With a 50, with a nifty 50. Nif- dude, nifty 50, I would a, still use it right now. It's a lifesaver, bro. It's hot. That it's shit hot. Li- I, whenever somebody is like, yo, I'm wanting to get into photography or anything, I'm like nifty 50. Mm-hmm. I spend don't... $300 on a camera and then spend about 50 to $100 on that lens. And you're much further than anyone else with a phone or a point and shoot. Bro, that nifty 50 changes your life. Spend two hundred dollars. I'm gonna camera. get into like the importance of fo- like photography and videography, like differences, like yeah, in a second. But so uh, I had a girlfriend at the time. She was like, "Oh, take photos of me." Blah, blah, blah. You know, girls like photos. You know, them. girls. Yeah. So um, I take photos of her. I think one of them tried to call me before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a myth. She can wait. It's a myth. <laughs> she knows. What, you got a podcast, so we move on. Move, move on. So um, not from me, just the conversation. Just get Please. off of it. Like, it's yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a while an hour ago. So, uh, I get the, I take the photos of her. Um, she likes them. She puts them up. Um, then she, we do it again. She likes them. She puts them up. And then people are hitting me up. And look, she's calling you She's get one. Do you want to, you want to put her on the pod? Is that cool? Hey, that's how you are. Hey, Zoe, you're on the podcast. Oh, I'm sorry I called you before. No, you're good. You're just. I want to let you know now before you're uh, not interesting when I talk to you. Uh, Paul Knight, the man. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So, 
No, he's he's in the building. We're all good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll call you. It's okay, Zoe. It's okay, Zoe. You're you're great. I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. <laughs> How cute. Look at that. How cute. What we are, uh, I actually don't like her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now that she's off the phone. I, re I really just <laughs> hate her guts. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm open for applicants. But other than that, <laughs> I'm not. She didn't, you didn't even hang up. She's really on the phone. She's like, oh, 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 oh. Oh. I, 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 <laughs> you didn't hear that. Gotta go. <laughs> Podcast. I'm all, I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> so, boom. She puts up the photos the second time, and people are, like, hitting me up. They're like, hey, can you take photos of me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, for free. Right, cool. Yeah, like, for free. And so I, because I still I didn't mean, know time, you would take yeah. photos. Right. Like, it made money until somebody hits me up, and it's like, yo, how much do you charge? I'm like, how much do I charge? And they're like, yeah, I'll pay you to take photos of me. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm like, I charge, like, 25 bucks. <laughs> That's how you start, yeah. 25 bucks. 25 is, 25 is good. I, I usually just go 20, hey. just as, like, you can hand me a bill. It's good enough. It's good enough. <laughs> it's so that's going to be the title of this podcast. It's good enough. It's good enough. So 25 bucks, you know, I'm taking photos of people for like that much. And they're like, yo, you got to raise your price up. I'm like, all right, 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all I'm right. Like, take one step. Take the next step. And so know? I'm like, I'm really getting into it. Like, yeah, everything I'm like doing is just on cameras like photography trying to learn you know because i wasn't thinking about art so i'm trying to catch up with everybody else like now i have fr like at the time i was just getting friends who've been in it since they're like six like yeah. 10 yeah they're like yeah my well my, yeah i think i was like 12 and i yeah, was like working 12, on stuff yeah you know because their, their parents or whoever was into photography <laughs> yeah. and you know and it carried on which is which is a beautiful thing. I just bugged my mom enough for a camera. And yeah, which she a ordered one thing. from Target. Come on, a I always Target just got those camera. like, um, what are those like, throwaway cameras? Yep, digital. The, the, uh, my mom always Olympus. said I took good photos too when I was a kid, but she was we never thought anything of it. Do you like? Did you? How did you do in school for like art class? Like I were you a, always I had, really? <laughs> I had got a. Um, I was like five or six, and I had got a painting in a museum. What? Yeah. Wait. Go into one. this. It's, what is? <laughs> Are you are you secretly Banksy? Are you just this Dude, whole time you've just I, I, been Banksy? So I can't draw for shit. I well, think that's I, that's five year olds. I, honestly, most mu museum paintings look like they were done by five year olds. Yeah, I can't draw for shit. And but they like, were just like, "This is from uh, Van Gogh," and I they think were like, "All my artistic good. ability was when I was like five or six, seven years old," and it just like for did you drawing, sell this? No, I was five. I was six. Well, right. five or six. What yeah, you, you were. Think? You were charging twenty bucks for a picture and at twenty. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, you think I'm selling a painting? Well, how did it get in the museum? Give me this. So I had an story. art teacher. Okay. Um, this is uh, so yeah, I had an art teacher, and she was like, she was super into it. She was just like, this painting is amazing. Art teacher is a shit. It's a painting of a dinosaur, you know. Yep. She's like, your painting is great. This drawing is great. She's going to my mom. She's like, look how great this is. Like, this is amazing. She's going to, like, other people. And until some point, she goes to, like, this museum director. She's like, look at this six-year-old's painting. They're like, okay, this thing is fire. Puts it up in a museum for, like, two weeks. Wait, like, which museum? I don't even know, bro. I was Do five just... or six. <laughs> I heard it was a big one. Uh, I do. I can't remember museums. That's like, fair. You can't uh, remember names. I, dude, I'm yeah. watching. I'm watching Chowder. Like, <laughs> I'm not worried about a museum thing. Yeah. Right? I think six years old. I'm That's not worried about experience. accomplishments. I'm worried yeah. about like, yo, how am I going to What's get home dinner? to see SpongeBob? Yeah, right yeah. Now? Oh, like, fuck yeah. Like, yo, y'all make me me miss this episode right now. Like. <laughs> He forgot how to make a Krabby Patty. Yeah. I gotta figure out how he figures like, it out again. Come on, guys! He's like, you guys are wasting my time one. with this art museum. <laughs> well, you want to start my career? <laughs> Fuck out of here! Squidward just tried a Krabby Patty. Now he's gotta keep it a secret that he likes it. So, Even like, my mom was confused, like how, like how it got in there. She's like, yeah. "What?" Because again, that's amazing. Where we come from, no idea that you can do things with art for real. Like Absolutely. That. You know what? I just thought about it too, though. That's a great like. If you ever do make a movie that like does really well and you're on a talk show they'll like bring that up and they'll be like we heard in at five or six you were in a you've got them in the museum yeah and you're like oh yeah I'm getting groovy yeah you're getting we, groovy we told that, on that. Oh, you guys went back yeah you, you guys, guys yeah. went far <laughs> you guys went the cotter's podcast <laughs>
<laughs> and I'm just like getting more views than Jimmy Fallon at that point. That'd be crazy, dude. dude. I hope, I, dude. I, I think Jimmy Fallon put it in the air, bro. is. That's what I have multiple times. I've talked shit about Jimmy Fallon. If he responds, that is only good for dude, me. I tell myself all the time, you know? I'm going to have a billion dollars before I die. Hell yeah! Well, I'm and then going to have, and then you're gonna have all these fake problems. Like you want the I, fake. Problems. I can't wait to have a fake problem. I will be the first one to be like, oh my god, Connor, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. What do you mean you have on Easy E socks on a yeah. little more? <laughs> On a fucking like, Thursday. Con- Connor, are you wearing Jordan ones? Like, like you can't wear. Th- you gotta. You gotta keep those. They're not a collaboration. You're losing. You're losing value <laughs> right now like, on your feet. Right now, I have stains in my pants. <laughs> like I, like I can't. See, that's how I'm gonna be with a billion dollars. I'm like, wearing garbage. Like I I'm have literally, stains in yo, my pants, dude. If I have a billion dollars, you will not even find me spending more than thirty dollars on a honest, t-shirt. Never. I could buy me a bunch more pants right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I'm it's. Not. I mean, you're you're uh, you're banking. You're banking that. Even when I have a billion, I think I'm still. That's what going I'm saying. To have stains in my pants. That's me. That's how I want to be. My a wife at the time is gonna be like, "Why the fuck don't you just get new pants? Well, you just like, go to Kohl's. Like I'm one of those for people one day. who like has a favorite pair of boxers. Mm-hmm. Oh, boxers. Not boxers. Boxer briefs. Boxers. We, well, no boxers. I I just find it interesting that you went underwear. With that, not like, outerwear. Like, like boxers, socks. Um, I guess I have a most comfortable pair and a least comfortable pair. Are but you I a wouldn't... boxer briefs person or a boxer briefs? Boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. I I, they're basically shorts. They're more or less. Uh, why Bro, would you not? Boxers. I, so it was just, this was just boxers, a topic on. Boxers leave you a little bit too free. This was just you know a topic I mean? on Dorm Tainment's podcast. Like I was listening to it. Right. Shout out. And shout out to them. And I was just like, I was like. This is so true. Mm-hmm. I never wear my boxers because they said, like, I have one pair of boxers and yep. I only wear it when all my other boxer briefs are gone. Absolutely. This is so true. Like, yeah. I literally had to do my laundry today in that pair of boxers. They never, like, feel like you're secure. Like, like it, it, it's you might not even not good material. No, never. It's, <laughs> never. it's not thick. There's not, you're basically not even wearing I would pants. rather you use shirt material. Yeah, like, how do true. You, like how a tri-blend? You, yeah. Like, how do you have a material that's less than wife beater shirt material? <laughs> like, well, wife beater shirt is basically what um, boxer briefs are, I would say, to an extent. But how is there something less? Uh, convenience, costs. Like the those things are like definitely like this curtain. Yeah. L- like at least, yeah. Even less than that. Maybe a little bit less, but yeah. Even I less get, than that. Like, I know you're. Yeah. For me, I'm I'm not too picky about my underwear. I, it basically for me, if I don't I realize I'm playing on uh, playing, if I don't realize I'm wearing underwear, it did its job. Like mm-hmm. that's, I'm and if well. and if I take a a tootie or two, and then some is caught in that zone, and I see that. Good job. Is if it can keep that, like it's it's basically a face mask, but for my junk and bootay. Man, you know, where did I leave off with my story? I I think you should just skip to the bank. Okay. <laughs> oh, I left off at the. Oh, and people hit me up fifty bo- dollars. Oh, fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then I, and this I've is been with asking your camera parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That this you is, got this from is, the... No, this is the the rented camera from school. Gotcha. Okay. So right. I'm asking my parents like, yo, yo, I'm, I'm like, hey, I need help getting this. Like, I'm asking it for my birthday, Christmas, you know, like a Christmas or two passes, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, I, I still never got it, and I realized because um, my parents don't have a lot of money or anything like that. They're like, twelve hundred dollars on the cameras, like insane like what mm-hmm. do you mean like that's crazy yeah. um so uh what i was like um i was like i gotta put matters into my own hands then like mm-hmm. i'm going to just go to the bank you have I to put to... matter in your hands yeah, and by matter, matter you mean cash money cash money yeah and i was like i know exactly what camera i want because mm-hmm. i've been doing so much research and i'm like i'm gonna Big go brain. to the i'm gonna go to the bank and i'm going to see if they'll give me like a loan for two thousand dollars and like they're like i go in there I'm like, yeah, I need a loan. <laughs> like, like to the teller? They're like, hi, how I'm can like I help you? 20. Yeah. yeah. They're like, I'll give you someone to talk to. And I go sit with this person. They're like, so wh- what do you need this loan for? I'm just like, um, it's just, just personal. Like, I don't know what to what to say. Because okay. they're like. Okay, personal means drugs. They're like, so is I it. I think that was bad. That was bad <laughs> but they're first like, word. Because they'll hit you with. Oh, the, you know. Stuff. Um, is it a car? Is right. it home? Is it business? Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, personally, they're like, well, be honest. I'm like, 
I want to buy a camera to like start up this thing. Like, You're you like know? nervous that they're yeah, gonna yeah. judge you for yeah, buying a like, camera. Right. They're like, okay, so they're like, we are a bank. We don't give a shit. <laughs> they're like, do you know what your credit score is? And I mm-hmm. didn't really know at the time, but it was good enough. It was good enough. Well, they want to push it through too. Yeah. That's the thing. So, a lot of the time, I had uh, it may not I, be a good thing, but I had just left. It was like two hours later. It's usually yeah. Um, I'm driving around and I get a phone call. I didn't know it was like in, and like that. Mm. Like I'm thinking it's gonna be like a day or two. I'm like I'm I'm like hyped to see it here on like Thursday. I think I applied on a Tuesday. I'm hyped to hear him on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. But nah, it's that same Tuesday. She calls me two hours later. Hey, you've been approved. Two, 2000 At the time, I had like 70 bucks in my bank account. So for you to be like, yo, you got $2,000 now. I'm like, oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough too, though, because with that feeling of getting $2,000, there's the feeling of two or three months later where you're like, yeah. That wasn't my money. Yeah, so this so, isn't for. I mean, you you probably made the money back with your your gigs and everything. Yeah. But with me, I had a car loan that I'm currently paying, and it's a lot more than two thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I'm still trying you know, to figure. Uh, I actually got to get It's just tough because you. It's almost like you have to do that to get things started. Mm-hmm. But once you're in the shit, it's like so hard to like grow and also get that down to mm-hmm. a reasonable. It's a thing. it's a it's a crazy fight. I'll yeah. definitely say that because um, after I got that loan, I was like, oh, I gotta be smart. I can't just blow it all on the camera. Smart. So I knew the camera was worth because I wanted the Canon 80D. Mm-hmm. I knew exactly what I needed. I knew the camera was worth like a thousand or whatever, and the stuff I needed was like another three. So I was like, mm-hmm. with that seven, I'm gonna put five into the loan. You got seven thousand? No, no, no. With that, the camera was thirteen. Like I had extra seven hundred dollars. Yeah, extra seven hundred dollars after like, the thirteen. Whoa, math. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so that seven hundred dollars after the thirteen, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna take five from it and put it back in the loan. Right. So it gives me a couple months ahead to just chill. I think I only had to pay like sixty bucks or whatever a month. Absolutely. And that's that's fine. beautiful. Yeah. Which is a beautiful thing. Mine is not. Yeah. Go ahead. I, car loans are completely different. <laughs> Trust me, I I know all about it now. You know what? I'm not worried about my car, but I'm also like. Worried why about did my I, car. Why did yeah. I do this? Yeah, it's it's those feelings. Like I'm not worried about anything going wrong with my car. Yeah, but I'm also worried of that. Maybe it might be gone. It <laughs> might be taken from me. Yeah, at some point. Maybe I might Hopefully wake up not. and it's not there, but it's not stolen. Right, it's... right, right. <laughs> Would you rather your car break down on you or just disappear? Because I had Which those two? same problems. <laughs> because I, th- when I applied for this loan, yeah. my car at the time was an 07 Impala. Mm-hmm. When I tell you, I've went through everything in the world for example one time my wheel fell off like just fell off it just like i was driving my girlfriend home at the time and i was like my car was like real wobbly so i pulled over to the side of the road i look at like where it's wobbling at my wheels off by the time i pulled over my wheel is off i go back in the car she's like dangerous. what's wrong i'm like uh we're three wheeling it like <laughs> like oh my god so I don't, I don't mean to touch you, but there's there's a, seems to be a third wheel, in I don't know. Make that joke work. Relationship, <laughs> third, like, like, like hey, the, the yeah. fourth wheel fell. I don't know. Hey, so one wheel broke up with the other. <laughs> like, <laughs> like one didn't want to. Hey, there you go. So that was funny. So <laughs> that I didn't have no payments on that though. I oh, just had yeah. to pay insurance. Mm-hmm. So, that was know, the life. That was but the you're also like, breaking uh, down. Is 160 thousand miles really where I want to be yeah, every so, day? And then, but now I have a car that doesn't break down. But I'm like, I have to make payments. Mm-hmm. On like, mm-hmm. yeah. And you're like, Jesus Christ. I just like, com- like that's the most I can compare to your loan thing. I mean, I also have credit cards that I put a mm-hmm. bunch of bullshit on. So. I mean, some cameras, but you know, shit happens. I've I've actually been I had a fishing problem at one point. Really? Yeah, because someone. I've never been fishing. Well, it was a pH fishing problem. What is a pH? So when uh, people on eBay, when you have a buy it now item, people will buy it now, and then they will send you a fake email, and they'll be like, "We sent you the money, and you got to send this camera to that." And then I was dumb enough to package it all up, send it off. And it was to Egypt, and that should have been a good idea for me not to do that. But then I was like, no, I should re- I should check if this is real or not. And then it was like, nope, it's not real. And then I was like, well, it's gone. So 
That I do shit like that all the time. Okay, so you're, you're which jump, makes me you, upset. You jump it a lot. Uh, all the uh, I'm the same way. It's okay, dude. It sucks. But then <clears throat> then you make some sort of glow up, and it's like it's not bad. And then you you get somewhere, and then it happens again, and you're like, you get whatever. burned by the fire to learn your yeah. lesson, dude. Honestly, you gotta run up. through it 100. percent So, but I think uh, let's round out this story. So boom, we'll, I get the loan. We'll take a break after this. So gotcha. I get the loan. Yeah. Um. Then I, I I get all the stuff. Mm-hmm. I, there was an event coming up for a photography event by a friend of mine, Brandon Lua. Mm-hmm. He was doing locations. And that's when everything started. And that's when it all just mm-hmm. came into just me working, working, working on creating and right. just paying off this loan. And, that's, just going. and that's the shit. And that honestly, getting that loan is a good uh, drive. To like, everybody thought I was insane. No one, like, I mean... Every single body thought I was nuts that I told I took out a loan. And from going from vet school to this yeah, to was, loan was immediately. a huge jump. Like, yeah. like I've um my my stepdad, my mom, like they they supported me in mm-hmm. it. Like they would be like, hey, just keep going, you know, chase your dreams. Like they're always say chase your dreams and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But they even told me like they they were kind of worried. This bitch is crazy. And, like yeah, they were like they were like yo, I'm kind of like we were worried like you're insane like you went and took out a loan Mm -hmm. and used your credit to to do something we never even knew about so but i just had that vision like i just like something in my body just said do this and i just believed in it so much Mm -hmm. that i just did the unthinkable for me at that time Mm -hmm. and i was just like that's when i knew just trust just trust yourself just keep going honestly and it's like i feel like a lot of people i mean especially sports you know figures and whatnot Mm -hmm. would call that feeling like god i think that's the only thing mm. i can really some like people say it's god some equate. people say it's their gut some people well, say right. it's the universe some yeah. people just say it's like your guardian angel but like it's all the same thing yeah is what like at the end of the day just listen to it like yeah and like i said in the last youtube video like some people stop chasing their dreams just because somebody else's opinion like mm-hmm. just say because if let's say you said at the beginning like let's say you knew me when i took out that loan mm-hmm. and you were like Yo, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's not safe. It's really risky. Well, I didn't know all this backstory until right now. Yeah, it's so like, like let's say, but at the time, like you knew who I was and mm-hmm. like stuff like that. I mean, me as a person, I probably would be like, "Fuck yeah!" But yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what I get your point. But like, like, let's yeah. say you just like wasn't, and I was just like, "Yeah, you're right." Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy. Like I and then none of this would have ever happened. Exactly. That, but there's people that we're going to talk that. about in the second half all the that, time who just you know? like just give it up just because yeah. of somebody else. And I, I. I hate that. That's why I always support my friends. Mm-hmm. Whenever they start anything, I, I give my friends a hundred percent. Like, and they'll tell you that too. Like, like I'm an asshole regularly. Like, <laughs> like I just want to get that out there. I mean, I, you did reschedule this podcast. I am. It's a, all good. It's an all good. Asshole, completely. I but if you want to start something. Mm-hmm. I, I'm definitely gonna believe in you, and I I'll even put money into it. Mm-hmm. Like my friends just started, or time or time. Like, like my friends just started a podcast the other day, and, and I was just like, boom, here goes like whatever, mm-hmm. and and I'll compl- I'll support it every time, and I'll share it. Just even even if you don't have money, just a share. We got or merch. just a like. A we got comment. merch here at getting groovy. I mean, hey. is that the only thing? The only thing. I'm just kidding. Well, where's the you merch can at? Do, you can where's do the it, merch at? Uh, on the Red Bubble store, which we are on gonna Red Bubble store. we're gonna get to. In this break, Angry. so so I'm gonna send you. So okay, so that's that's good. I think that's a good. Uh, we'll we'll end it for the first half. We'll do a little first ad time. break. Me and you, we'll we'll go through. So my these are stuff. halves. You have halves. Yeah, I got a half. Well, just to like you know refresh. Just, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So I will uh, now have you take us to the break in an impression. So you gotta like do it as a certain person that I I usually tell you to do it in a certain way. I'm terrible at impression. That's the best part. Okay, That's, here okay go, so um, I'm going to need you to, um, okay, so you got to do it like a schnitzel mm. from uh, uh, Chowder. Either schnitzel or mung dal if you don't want to just say rada seven times because you could do that. Can I please say rada seven yeah, times? Yeah, yeah, go for so, it. So, but what are, the, what are the lines that I have to say? So the line, you got to say, thanks for tuning in. We've had a great conversation so far, and we'll be right back. Okay. About about 10 words, right? If you counted, yeah. If you counted right. <laughs> rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada. I'll be right back. <laughs> 
Hey everybody, this is, uh, this, is, this is the ad. This is the ad for the podcast that we're doing. Did you know that I have merch? I have t-shirts, I have uh, hoodies, I have sweatshirts, I got mugs. So you can put it on socks. Do you want my stuff on your body? Well, this is your chance because my Redbubble page sells products that you can wear and use in your everyday life. Many colors, many styles. Hey, Paul? Wow, how do you how do you feel about the the Mink Blob merch store on Redbubble? Yeah, yeah. He's speechless, everybody. I had no idea you had merch. I got yeah, I got a ton. It's it's all on there. Wait, hold on. Did you say you had mugs, hoodies, shirts? Yeah, shorts. You can put on every, socks. I don't know about shorts. I got all glasses. of that though. Well, not glasses. Chairs. You got desks. I got pillows. There's pillows, pillows? on there. That's yeah. fire. Okay. You can get pillows a throw pillow. Fire. Yeah, you can get co- coasters. You can That's get fire. mugs, travel mugs. And where can these people find your merch at? Redbubble.com slash uh, people slash minkblood slash shop, I believe. But just go in the description. You know, they're all all the designs will be Link on the screen right now. The description. All, always. Even in the podcast notes or in the description of the you YouTube have video. have a roller of the different things. That's what I was going to do. Do the roller of the different you things. You know. Have you ever seen this? Have you seen this? I have this one. <laughs> That's enough. That's honestly. I'll take the view. Hey. I watched multiple of his vlogs, but it's okay. Anyways. I'll tune in more. The mer- I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give merch. He's watching this one for sure. Because it has it. Paul Knight in it. Come on, dude. That's why you had to turn off the screen, because I would look at myself. <laughs> Absolutely. But anyways, buy the merch. If you want. If you don't, live your life. Who gives a shit, you know? Not Time is fucking merch. an illusion. Buy the merch. If you want merch, get merch. That is all. Did you say buying the shirt makes you a better person when you go to sleep at night and you get better dreams? Is that what I heard? That's what. That, is that's that what a I quote. heard? That's a direct quote from Paul Knight. Is that? Did I hear that the hoodie is the warmest hoodie in the winter time and the softest yeah. material in the summertime? You've you honestly nailed it. You've nailed it on the head. I thought so. You've hit the nail on the nail with your nail. And I heard that the socks are sweat resistant. <laughs> That when your feet sweat, it just automatically dries your yeah. feet so I mean, that you're able to get anything done throughout the day. I will not say that uh, from a logistical standpoint, but I will I will agree to you in a comedy sort of way. Okay. I'm not being comical. Okay. you want to go back to the episode? Let's, or do you want to just do the, this. the rest of the episode <laughs> is the ad? Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada. All right. That's that means we're back. I don't know if anyone speaks Schauder. or uh, I guess you would be speak, speaking Schnitzel. What was Schnitzel? What did what language did he speak? Is it Rada? Would you consider the language Rada or Schnitzel? Schnitzel's talk. No, it was probably just like South Rada, South, South Asian, South Asian. <laughs> Pacific Islander, I believe. Pacific Islander. Um, but no. So back from the break, we just recorded that ad. How's your experience? My, my experience is great. I really love this. Yeah, I'm, you're a big fan. I'm a talkative person. Hell so. yeah, dude. Well, I'll put a mic in front of your face. You can, you know, Let's just go, man. Come out, come, come, hang, dog. Plus get I, get groovy. You know I what just I mean? Be like, I just go, man. I roll with the flow. Calvin Klein. Okay. That was that was a uh, a big moment uh, that in was your one of career. My biggest accomplishments, yes. In your life, in your. I want to say that was a great way to know. start, uh, 2021. Right. So uh, new year, new Paul. Uh, new Paul Knight. I yes, can't sir. not say your full name. You can't just say Paul. <laughs> it's, isn't it funny how a guy that can't remember anyone's names has one of the most memorable, memorizable names? That's why I think I can't remember names. It's like a curse. It's a You've curse. been cursed. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, do you want me to just like talk about like how it started? Yeah, give me the uh, give me give me the initial like what happened. Okay. And I know this was a, on your vlogs, correct? Yeah. You did. Uh, just watch this because it might, yeah. you know. You're good. You know what you're doing. So this was on your vlogs. If you'd like mm-hmm. to check out those vlogs, again, promote it. We'll promote it throughout the episode. Yep. P-A-U-L-L-K-N-I-G-H-T on YouTube. Yep. Again, that's P-A-U-L-L-K-N-I-G-H-T. That's the uh, the only times you're going to take two L's listening to Paul, if yep. you know what I mean. Yes, sir. Because he only puts out W's. Big dubs. Hell yeah. Big dubs. Speaking of dubs. So CK, so boom. That started because my friend Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Span, or he goes by Nicholas Wolf now, is he? It's a lot cooler. Yeah, <laughs> he's a he's a model. He he doesn't he's done a lot of model gigs for like runways, like Vogue, all of that. A model citizen. Yeah, I've known him since I was like a kid uh, before all of this, mm-hmm. and 
we just happened to get into like same sort of field and i told him back in october november that i i want to put down photography and just really dive in the videography mm -hmm. and he thought that was an amazing thing he was like yeah i really see you doing that this is when me and him went to la together um love love an invite by the way i'm just kidding <laughs> he invited me to LA. that's so, well it, hey I'll close pack, friends i'll pack my bags <laughs> if, you want. if this podcast blows up hey hey man we'll see so it's snowing right now so i want to be in la yeah, trust me i i know how you feel about snow so <laughs> You're wearing all white and you hate snow. I look like a snowman right you now. You do. You got a little snowman action. <laughs> you look like a snowman, but like that was iced out. Yeah. Like as even more iced out than a snowman could be. Dude, I just this is just this I want to go wash clothes. With this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got your A plus attire. <laughs> but this is also my everyday, so Hell yeah, dude. So you gotta keep it real. So boom. Uh, I told him back in October, November that I wanted to jump into all videography and he was like yo that's amazing uh boom let's support you all the way so you know as a couple months go by me and i'm like that's my close friend so we're, we're staying in touch and stuff he's just checking up on me and then in the beginning uh -huh. of january he um hits me up it's like january 2nd or 3rd he's like yo i might have an opportunity to shoot with calvin klein i'm on like their top list for models to shoot for that's crazy and i was like okay dope that's amazing bro and he was like but i don't want my agency to find a photographer videographer I, i'm going to do it and i want you to be the videographer mm -hmm. and i was like dude that's dope and that's huge the guy that we met also in, because he met with a bunch of people in L.A. when we had went, Mark Anthony, mm -hmm. not the musician. Right. <laughs> uh, he's a photographer, but he handles film a lot. I don't handle mm. film, so I don't really know how, you know, that works. Speaking of film, Brody, that man dive, dove deep. No, film is Wild. so amazing. I, I can go on a tangent about how great film is, even oh. though I'm not in film. I love it. Well, you know, that's why that's all uh, these these weird old uncles that are, like, super into film. Like, that's, like, all they've done their whole life because it's so difficult to, like, it's figure that all out. But it's just also the, the, the life you get from it, I yeah. feel. Is it's a the lot routine better. and the yeah it's like a ritual more more Even of a ritual like visual like when you see it like yeah. just looking at the bokeh mm -hmm. the the movement grain the, the grain it's just i add film grain to this sometimes like like you can do that digitally it does it's not the same but though. it's just like it's just not the same well and it's also not as uh fulfilling because right. the the um i mean there is a uh bar for failure that like digital does give you with like you know different errors and whatever you can have in a shoot but like the 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 volatility of what film is like literally if light hits it it will be ruined yeah that's, that's insane that's like like it's just a, a different level of like care and skill so that you need it. it's insane and it's that, that dark care rooms, i just don't have that's like, dude it's hard it's really <laughs> just, hard I just when you grow up on me, computers i'm a clumsy person yeah, I, yeah. i'll be the first to tell you clumsy yeah. I will fuck film up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, yep. I, but I love to look at it. But sometimes that that uh, you get some weird, cool results. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you, if you fuck it up, sometimes some, that works. That's yeah. the best part about film is it's so like abstract. It's crazy. That but I just found out you can also edit film. Like when yeah. you scan it, mm -hmm. I, I never knew that the other. You could edit anything. Thing. Yeah, which is nice. Well, that's you got to use the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. But Calvin Klein, back so, to that. Yeah, so Nicholas hit me up, and uh, he said he wanted me to vid be the videographer. He liked the uh, the videos I was putting out, mm -hmm. and he trusted me to do it, because this is also super huge for Don't him. give Paul a field and a pretty woman. Do not. <laughs> he will go insane. So, yeah, people... It's, people, it's I, great. People I love hate it. me in my fields <laughs> and pretty women. <laughs> Even I hate me in my fields and pretty women. I think it's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> I broke it. It's not like you broke your neck on the mic. <laughs> it's not like you snapped it, bro. Literally, I, I forgot who it was that was talking to That's the other funny. day. It was just like, yeah, dude, I'm just going to give you a pretty woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Just a cool lady with like, she's got like a just great. Just grass around me. A know, great uh, and top a on. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Just a cool like under boob. A, a tasteful under boob. But I need that feel though. Yeah, bro. that feel. That you got to have a feel. That feel makes it. And bro. maybe a mirror. I Dude, just, you throw a mirror in there, you bro, go wild. No, nah, but the best thing They're is... They're holding a prop? Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I'm a katana guy. I would give all of these women katanas. Doing katana. And then just that's like, all you do. that's bad bitches. That's all. Man, see me, I'm a gamer, so I'll give him a controller if I could. <laughs> be like that. <laughs> like, be like, like, but I know it's not going to be attractive to the photo, so it's whatever. It's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't put an you Xbox controller. You got to accept your losses, bro. <laughs> accept your losses. You got to only use elite controllers if you're going to do that. So you got to use the, uh, the scuff controllers yeah, but... from online, the back paddles. You like with the lime mic. green custom design. Start having them home uh, yeah, monitors dude. that have. That's a lane, man. Point zero 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 two for sponsor. You can't Speaking tell of that, I hate when people go into that. <laughs> I, I hate when people go. Be like, bro, I just got this monitor. Point zero 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 five response rate. I, like, bro, you don't just say it's good. Just, just, <laughs> just be like, it's a good monitor dude, for what I, I need. Do not care how yeah. fast it responds. Well, it's almost a gloat, but. We again tangent, tangent tangent central tangent central so boom he so hits when did me you up. you get to New York City so we were actually shoot, supposed right? to do it in Miami oh right we were going okay. to do it in Miami because that was the vision um because we wanted to do it on like a beach or a sunset or something like that a field a f- field something <laughs> you know and a hot um, and sweaty field. <laughs> me and Nicholas are like procrastinators at the most. Like mm-hmm. we do a lot of things last minute. He hates most to admit are. it. Most he artists. hates to admit it. If yeah. you ask him, like, do you, he he hates to admit it, but he is because he's like, dude, we can get the. It's literally that week, like <laughs> that week. He's like, we can get the flights and go down there. I'm like, all right, go go find me a flight right now. How much are the flights? He's like, we can't get these flights. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, they're four hundred. We're just yeah, fly there. Just one, one there. Flight. Just, just or like, there and back round trip, just, just round trip one. Oh yeah, that's four fifty, four eighty. Yeah, that's about like, a, a going to a Colorado day, for a day flight. Yeah, no. Yeah, so we were like, you know what? Scratch it. He's like, yeah, drive in New York. Guess how much it was to go to Colorado when I went there last March? You, you want me to guess a number? Yeah, it's an obvious number. If we're, it's a, it's around the number that you said, and then if you think about where I went. Okay, where did you go in Colorado? It's just Colorado. It was Salida, Salida. You said it's around my number. I just it's said? around your number. Think about the context clues. Four fifty-seven thirty-five. Okay, it's a less than that. Oh, three seventy-two thirty-nine. Higher than that. Four twenty thirty-five. Close. Well, Which, probably somewhere around there. Four twenty-three. Just four twenty. Oh, 420. It was like, I don't know how much exactly it was. Oh, okay. But, I mean, that was fun. That was a fun <laughs> little guess game. I, I try to guess exact numbers. But you know what I mean. That's okay. like, I'm not going to pull up 457, 39 That'd out of my head. You were like 420. I wish 35. I had that sort of memory. Like, you were, If you remember numbers like that and I names. do. I can remember names. I mean, yeah. numbers. Yeah. I can't remember names. If you give me numbers, I'll remember a bunch like of numbers. Like a phone number? You, you might nah, as well nah, just nah, assign nah, phone, phone numbers, numbers to people. Nah, I should, though. I should just be like, oh, that's 716-378. <laughs> oh, Brian, you mean 432-8666. Got you. They have C- three sixes in his name. That's how like, I remember. He's like, how do you know that? Just yeah. numbers. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm better with numbers. So, boom. Tangent City. Tangent City. So It's fun. Yeah, so I he's like drive to New York. We're gonna do it here. We're gonna just run out of place. So I drive to New York six hours, mm-hmm. um, and then I get there tired. Well, I go throughout the whole day with him, and then we have to wait because Mark has to fly from Miami. Because actually, Mark is from Miami, mm-hmm. so he has to fly. He literally stayed Talent. there for. Oh, I guess he's the photographer. He stayed there for only twelve hours. He That's was wild. New York. He literally got there. He stayed with us through the night, shot it in the morning, yeah. then left. I mean, that's a grind, though. You know what I mean? It, it is a grind. Like, when you're when you're in this sort of field, you kind of have to be yep. like that, to be and, honest. But I, left, I only stayed there for a day. And I had to yeah. leave back. I had to drive back the next day. But that day, that Saturday, because that's when we shot it, um, it was just just like hell mm-hmm. trying to get it done because we're all we're, – I think we're all nervous. We're all trying to get as many shots as we can. We're all – like having to figure out because the day before we we planned it out the day mm-hmm. before we we had made mood boards we had we knew what we were gonna shoot we needed six I needed six shots of this six shots of that I had a total of like twenty or something like mm-hmm. that and I just had to make sure I had to get it all done and so that's what we were doing we're doing research and so we're trying to hit it on the nail each time. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, and we only had a short time to work with two because the studio that we uh, got, I didn't know you can go through peer space, peer space. You can like use someone's home. Mm-hmm. That's a, huge. A, like an Airbnb, but it's just like 
for just studio. studio for yeah. like a couple hours. So because you know, I think Airbnb you got to stay the night or whatever. Mm-hmm. They do that a lot in California yeah. for like movie sets and whatnot. Yeah. I'm sure that's like a so huge market. Pure space. Um, they, I'm sure they would fuck up that studio <laughs> space. <laughs> I'm positive. Yeah, but pure space. We we only had like two hours to mm-hmm. get me. Um, like 20 or something shots and then Mark had to get his like 30 film shots mm-hmm. and it was all different categories so we really just had to focus get locked in um, and just try to also have it fun so that we can you know it's better it's gotta come through yeah, yeah that you're like, like it's enjoying yourself get things done when you're enjoying yourself I feel like if you're just all uptight your photos are gonna look uptight or your mm-hmm. videos are gonna look uptight yeah, like, that's, that's... nothing's gonna be you know feeling good so that's the thing about good. art though is that like whenever you make art like however you feel at the moment that you're making it is usually it's it's just almost inherently with that's, good stuff you're gonna that's it's gonna come a through. key point uh for it my photography good. yeah like a very important thing to me with my photography and my videos is yeah. making sure whoever i'm taking it of is completely comfortable that's yeah or that's is, the biggest or, thing or is having a good time that is like i think that's like ninety five yeah. to one hundred percent of the people that I shot with will will tell you like they had a really good time mm-hmm. and I'm confident about that like they they'll be like yeah I love Paul I love working with Paul it was fun mm-hmm. it was cool had a great time edits were awesome and that's that. and uh, the biggest thing for that is like I mean obviously you want to get the best result out right. of your work and it, making people more comfortable is only going to help that but I mean I got you cereal. Like yeah. we ate, we literally totally, ate cereal. Yeah, we definitely did. Eat and then that before. that really made I think this a lot better. <laughs> and we just like you know got a little cocoa puff sugar in us. Hey man, that thing's that's, amazing. That's the way to do it. But that's the that's the key. Like as long as people are comfortable, people mm-hmm. having a good time, uh, builds well, that I was, trust. Well, I was gonna, real quick. I was gonna say uh, um, portrait wise. So mm-hmm. I I you know as a photographer video guy, I'm like what what can I do now today. To like meet people and make money and do all this stuff, and like I was going through my options and I was like I could do portraits, but I feel like me personally, I just feel so disconnected from the person with I'm behind the camera and they're in front of the camera, mm-hmm. and like I know that there are a lot of people that can make models feel comfortable and like put them in that right space and like mm-hmm. I've seen it. But I just feel like, especially with this, like this is more my speed right. where it's like we're both like, like I'm performing and you're performing. Mm. And it's like it's like more of a like an improv, like we both raise each other up. Mm. Whereas like it is like that with f- photography. But I, for some reason with my brain, I'm like, All right, this look good. This look. like I'm more in my head right. if I'm there. Right. So, I'm so, not gonna so like... me, I'm very like when I'm taking a photo of a portrait, um, I'm doing that same thing, like, yeah, this looks mm-hmm. amazing in my head, but I'm also telling them, like, I'll get vocal and be like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is nuts. And then yeah. so when they hear me do that, they're hyped now. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, shit, we're killing it. Like, right. let's keep it going. So now they're comfortable. Dude, models? Shout out models, man. Yeah, shout out. They, they go Fuck. through a lot. Yeah. Um, Off of taking these videos and pictures of myself for the last couple of weeks and months, yeah, so, I'm an ugly bastard. Like dude, I said, I'm I don't an asshole. I've had models, like, <laughs> I've had models almost like, like in the snow freezing oh of course now they go through hell ever my idea Mm -hmm. no not really so most of the time it's their idea Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna lie but i've i've told them like yo you gotta go through it like this is your idea as a film film director from the shoots that i've had where it has been snowing and sub-zero and everyone's outside doing their thing Mm -hmm. you just also like you have to feel the same pain that your subject feels. Yes, I, like I that's, feel so bad every time. That's the biggest thing. I mean, at least for... Because I made a movie called Aware, where mm-hmm. it's like me. I'm basically the only character other than my buddy Will. And I just had all these people. They all got jackets and suits and big and whatever. And I, for some reason, with the costume, gave myself a green jacket, fingerless gloves, not even a hat. Like, it was not the right place for me to be. But everyone else was like also miserable because it was cold and i was just more miserable <laughs> so i'm like i will take that on my back if i have to just to get everyone you, out you here you have to carry it so yeah. and it, especially if it's your idea but so. but i I've, I've had times when models like freezing and and i'll take off my jacket and be like fuck it if you're gonna mm-hmm. be in it i'm gonna be in it too and it just makes everyone it goes back to being comfortable so mm-hmm. that's that's the biggest thing so round out this this ck story and then we will i have segments so boom we finish it. Yes. We submit it. I have to. I made 
I, I made like 15 videos or 15 edits with Nicholas that night. Mm-hmm. Like, th- now they weren't long. They weren't like, you know, like. Like IG length. Yeah. They yeah. were like, you know, 60 seconds or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's still like you have to create and come up with these ideas, like 15. You have to, it's tedious, the renderings and all that. So we Trust get that, me, we submit it. I got to render this fucking I, hour. I, yeah. <laughs> and then I go back home uh, and Nicholas is like, we got to wait 30 to 60 days to find out. Mm. To find out if we'll be accepted. And if we don't get accepted, we don't get paid. I was going to say that's, yeah. So, that's the scariest part about them just being like, yeah, go do it. And then yeah. you're like, okay, I hope, it's, not, I hope I never, you like this. It's like... I never knew, like, with major companies like that, That's like, you crazy. gotta wait. This is common, too. Even with the film industry, when you do movies and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, you have to wait that 30, 60 days just mm-hmm. to find out if you'll be accepted or right. if you'll be paid, you know? So it, we just had to wait. Now, fortunately, we didn't have to wait 30 days. It was mm-hmm. actually two two weeks, two or three weeks. That's solid. Yeah, it was a solid. Mm-hmm. Um, and he That had, must mean that you got someone's attention. That's the biggest thing, which is good. I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah. And so um, Nicholas calls me, I think it was a Tuesday. Tuesday, um, two weeks ago. You got my attention, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> two weeks ago. And he, he goes, crazy. We, we got accepted. And I'm like, he's he's you're screaming on the phone. Mm-hmm. I'm screaming on, on the phone Hell because yeah, I'm dude. in my car. going. I'm literally going to the gym when I got the news. And I'm like. <gasps> the craziest workout of your life. <gasps> yeah, I'm yeah. smiling while I'm working out doing cardio. Mm-hmm. Usually when people do cardio, you're just mad. You're like, fuck, why are you cardio? And I was sitting there like. Hi, is there Something worked out for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 So he's going and crazy. everyone else is like, like they're good. They're posting tomorrow. Yeah. He's like. That's crazy. Got to make sure the link is good. I was so worried that they were going to put the one L instead of the two. Uh, oh my God. I, yeah. had to, I had to tell Nicholas, make sure with your agent that they know. You got to capitalize the L's like yeah, right before. Like, <laughs> like three times. Then they sent us like, they sent us like the, um, the mood board of what it's going to look like. Mm-hmm. They broke it down. So before, like how everybody else seen it on their story or in, and on their post, mm-hmm. I knew the day before exactly what it was going to look like. Now, I didn't know I was going to be tagged on the story because they tagged me on the story. But th- I knew every single thing, how, how Mark's photos were going to look, how my videos were going to look, how the tag was going to look. It was so crazy. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And then and it's like a respected day, like company. Like you could tell your grandma. Yeah. That, like next day I yeah. got like fucking 10 messages from Nick because uh, I woke up. I remember the time, too. I woke up at 944. Um, I got the text message. I have a screenshot. Of course. I have like 30, like, no, I have like 10 text messages from Nick. I have uh, an email to Elon Musk tweeted something, and then it says at the bottom, <laughs> uh, Calvin Klein tagged you in a post. That's insane, And I was man. like 44 minutes late, and by the time I looked at it, like 30 or 40,000 people seen it. And I was just like, that's the shit. This is insane. Yeah. Well, and that's like, because I had the the probably most like notoriety that i've ever gotten in terms of something like that would be like the 48 hour film Mm -hmm. that we finished uh undercover i want to do one of those we're we're getting on a team dude we're we're building this whole podcast is i told you what my next project was right no but we can do you want to i'm gonna cover it in a second yeah okay so that i was just gonna say so that i had seen at the north park theater mm-hmm. and that was like played on the thing and that's there was like a, an audience and i was like this is what it's that's about. my dream this is what it that is. is that is one of my dreams it's, it was literally i had i mentioned this on the two in the clear podcast but i had uh two oohs and like a laugh and like that's, a oh like someone, that's amazing dude it's yeah uh, oh it's dude, that's literally watching it on the screen as i know exactly what's going to happen i'm like i think i think about Dude, this it's so, just funny it's so just with these funny. youtube videos just seeing me on people's like yeah. when i get tagged on stories and stuff seeing me on someone's tv is it's like, awesome it's the most heartwarming thing my dream is to see me on like a big picture one day well not me but see like something i created mm-hmm. on a big picture one day and i just did make a cameo engaged. almost only for that reason that's just you, to you have to make a cameo be as there a director as, sometimes. oh i was the, i was in the first like 30 seconds and Who? it's just I forget his name. Um, in my film class, we had to cover him. It's one of the, it's one of the most important directors in history. Um, he's one of the Kurosawa. Nope. Hitchcock. 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 Yo, mm-hmm. his cameos are hilarious. Oh, he's though. just in. That's like I honestly, that's who I 
probably modeled it after the most of just like in a scene where like I, I get shot. I've watched or like something. three of his films. Dude, Vertigo's awesome. Uh, I love Psycho. Yes. Psycho? Psycho's fantastic. Oh my god. Dude, well, I thought it, North there North was a real mother the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, I man. Oh my god. It's called a twist. When when I tell you yeah. like I I've before <laughs> watching it cuz I you know, I'm not so I wasn't ever a real big like um movie fan of the past like mm-hmm. black and white i used to watch when i was a kid with my grandfather because he used to watch like a bunch of cowboy movies mm-hmm. he likes john wayne and yep. all of those sergio leone he loves those right so i would watch Good, the bad and the ugly all that all of that yeah. he would probably if he was still here rest in peace to him love him ah. he'll, he'll probably uh tell you all about him and stuff mm-hmm. like that but like so when I knew in my film class I had to watch like a black and white film, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I got to write about it too, like Hitchcock, yeah, like, oh, yeah. whatever. Then I watched it. I'm just in it. Um, I'm like, yo. It, and when I when they were like, he's the master of suspense mm-hmm. and like drawing you in, I was just like, I'm engaged in 2021. Like, is she going to – because I thought – she was the rain on the road when mm-hmm. she, the rain was real high. I thought she was gonna hit something and go off the road, but then she That's finds all writing, a mo- man. She finds a motel, and I'm like, I was like, I just could have swore she was about to die, and then like, you know, the cop, oh, the, the cop's oh, definitely yeah. gonna find her so that she'll be saved. Nah, the cop mm-hmm. thinks I'm like, oh, this is insane. Like that's that's she why she gets murdered felt... in the shower, I'm like, dude. That's why I spoilers felt... if you haven't seen this yeah. 1941 movie. <laughs> if you if you 20 year olds that are watching this have not seen this movie, you should. I mean, I definitely way. suggest yeah, I, Psycho. I would say okay, so if you like Psycho and you want another black and white movie, I definitely watch one after Psycho. So okay, so episode, for me, I honestly think. That Doctor Strangelove by Strange Love. Uh, Stanley Kubrick, you know that man? Yeah. The 2001 Face Odyssey, all that. Yeah. So Doctor Strangelove and How I Stopped Worrying and Learned to Love the Bomb or whatever his name is. What a title. Dude, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's basically a Coen Brothers movie, but about... You're definitely going to have to show me this. I don't think I'm going to remember that big ass name. No, just remember Doctor Strangelove. Okay, Doctor Strangelove. Yeah. Okay. But it's about basically this, uh, this the U.S. government is uh sitting around like a table Mm -hmm. and they have to call the generals in because one of their generals went mad and just called in a nuclear strike in one of their bombers that they were flying so and then he like cut off all communication so they basically have to get to that general and like stop like you know arrest him and stuff Mm. and talk to the people that are within the bomb like have the bomb and be like don't drop this so it's literally one of the funniest movies i've ever seen it's a funny after describing it like that think that but like coen brothers Mm -hmm. like the the general thinks that some something is in the the water of america that is causing everyone to go insane and this he himself is insane it's it's great but so it's a plot twist with a plot twist it's oh there's there's a few plot twists in there but um, side note, Zoe didn't want to watch it one day. I'm calling her out right now. It's a great movie. We need to watch it. Doctor Strange Love. Doctor Strange Love. Not Doctor Strange. Different. Doctor, Doctor Strange. But it's we that was so that's your Calvin Klein thing. I'm just trying to move it because no, no, I don't know, battery wise, I no, think that's less than half. So, okay. so let's get into three segments. I usually do. So Did first you want me one to talk about my next project though. Oh yeah, really quick. Oh. Or do you want to do that at the end? Oh. Or do you want to do that now? Really quick. Doesn't matter. Either way, you, so, you sound like you want to do it now. So yeah, go for it. So my next like big thing, because after the Calvin Klein thing, I'm like, mm-hmm. what's next? Um, is how I just told you my dream is to have like a film on like a major screen or something. Mm-hmm. Is I want to make like a um, documentary, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm going to capture something that I really love, which was photography and getting into art. Mm-hmm. Is I'm going to take a lot of the creators um, in buffalo and in our scene and just try to like highlight them in the documentary i'm going to go for the videographers photographers um people who make i know some of those like some of those people (laughs) and i and i want to make like a documentary of it but in Mm -hmm. my style right like um so i'm gonna have to make a script i'm gonna have to produce it i'm gonna have to get it down so I'm gonna see what I can do. Hopefully, within like the next couple months, like th- two by the to time three, this comes out, maybe probably like yeah. two to three, maybe four months. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, it's all it's all a process. Me and Brody were actually thinking about doing that with like theaters for mm-hmm. COVID, but then we were like, eh, I mean, do we really like? Not that we don't want to make documentaries, but we have like scripts that we have already sort of written and like 
got somewhere with. Mm. So we were like, we might as well just do that. So stay tuned for that. That we got some scripts coming up. We might we'll probably have you involved at some okay. point doing some, if you want. This you know, be my first. I'm going to try to make this like my first script that I finished. Like right. I have scripts that mm-hmm. are like a quarter done, a halfway done, or Dude, not even close to being done. Anyone that's written a movie knows exactly. What <laughs> so, yeah. so I want to make this one yeah. finished. Well, you got to put it down for a while and then come back to it. Yeah. That really, it really does help. That yeah. Even with like photos, like mm-hmm. oh, uh, I'm sure photos and videos. I, mm-hmm. I, one day, like why the fuck was I doing it like that? Yeah. Like, one <laughs> day I have like the colors like, and I'm like, oh, this is fire. Yeah. And then I'll be like, ah, Paul, you're a little stone right now. So um, maybe you should come back tomorrow. And right. I'm like, all right, I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll be like. Yeah, these colors are fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> these, these colors fucking suck. Yeah, I mean sometimes it's you you don't you you don't get exactly what you want every day. Yeah. So you got to take the again you got to take the L's. Gotta sometimes the L's. there's two of them in one name. But I'm all about taking an L and making it into a W. Take no, that's two L's. Make it into a W. Make it into a W. Come on. Come on. That's Maybe it. that's why I've been doing good, you know, the two L's. On the- I think so. Ah. The two L's made a W. Made a W. For someone. Somewhere. If, you, if The regular Paul Knight, he's not. Shout not out to the Williams who have W's in their name. And, <laughs> the, and two L's. And two, <laughs> two W's. <laughs> <laughs> They're just stay winning. All right, now you can go into your segment. All right. Uh, okay, so quickly, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. How do you feel? it's one of my top three movies great top five movies so what is i want to know your your first experience how you feel about it now and then give me a rating so my first experience yeah this is always a crazy story with people so my first experience was it was just engaging like i was all into it um a little bit confused by the timeline Mm -hmm. i think that's what everybody faces but just like everything that goes on in it you're like what the fuck mm-hmm. is going on from it really breaks your brain from when they um when when she gets too coked up and mm-hmm. she has to get stabbed in the chest well she gets heroin, heroin. in her nose and she, and she has to get stabbed in don't the do chest. that everyone <laughs> yeah get stabbed in the chest and I'm, i remember i first seen that i was like mm-hmm. can that really happen like yep. do people really do that and yeah. it, it really does and mm-hmm. i just thought it was insane but they filmed that in reverse i heard I, cause it I, looks a it lot was, uh, better than Cordero you know, Digital. I think I was was on there. That's I was gonna tell you they're number one for yeah. me. They're since the beginning, like that Modern Warfare movie that they made. Mm-hmm. That was the beginning of oh I can do this. Yeah, Cordero Digital literally Shout got me. Started. I watch I watch all shout of their, out Cordor. I watch all their VFX reacts, their stuntman reacts, all of that. That's there's a reason we're friends. <laughs> I think I think there's it's the that's the best reason. part about this podcast is when like people are like yeah I really like that I watch it all the time I'm like. Yeah, they should be here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is where they should be. But other than that, so, give me a rating. Rating of Pulp Fiction. Yep, and how you feel about it now. I give it a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, somewhere around there. I give it mm-hmm. a 9 out of 10. And yeah. then um, I feel about it now just from being in the field and mm-hmm. just creating. Uh, I think the last time I seen it was like a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. But just like knowing what I know and then also seeing – um, people and their theories and having like different timelines and putting it in order and stuff mm-hmm. like that, masterpiece. I thought it was great. absolutely. I thought it was amazing. That's, that's all I want to hear. Honestly, I, I'm literally that segment is just is kind of gonna good for confirm his ego or his love of this movie and is this <laughs> is the shut up everyone. Boost. Okay, gotcha. this is the everyone. This movie's fantastic. Shut your mouth. This is this uh, is uh, and it wouldn't I be told you so. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it wouldn't be pockets if I didn't bring it up. So <laughs> so after that. Connor also has glacier water. I do. Straight from the Coors glaciers of every, Norway. Every drop of water tastes better out of a glass. Absolutely. That is code. Absolutely. No fact. ACAS. You know what that stands for? No. All cops are scary. Yes. So I don't subscribe to ACAB. I think that's a bit much. I think there are some that generally, they may not be doing the right thing, but they think they're doing the right thing, which is like, whatever they'll they'll so, give them that I'll, but all cops a, are scary and what is your craziest cop cop story so you know what i mean <laughs> my, one of my funniest cop stories was so i got pulled over going to syracuse um it was when working at best buy mm-hmm. because you know they had those like meetings or whatever or you're, the training you yep. have to go to this place for the training yeah and i'm going to syracuse i think i'm running late now, the whole time, I'm doing 65, 70. That's what the speed limit is, mm-hmm. 65, 70. And as I, I'm, like, 30 minutes out from Syracuse, and there's this dude just, like, 
on my bumper just riding the ass of my car, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and there's, like, I see, like, these lanes that I can just easily, because I I speed sometimes. (laughs) I don't, I haven't speed, I I really haven't sped since this ticket. Mm -hmm. This is why. Um, I mean, I I don't mean to. If I go this fast, I can, I can hit. I can get out the way of everyone. I don't mean to do stop writing. I don't mean to incriminate you, but I have seen you record some <laughs> Instagram stories. Yeah. While on the so road. you I may or may not have been moving, but you know. haven't seen them that much. That's true. That is true. Because I have definitely <laughs> grown from that. This is this is the story why. But I'm also not completely relieved of guilt for that. <laughs> Just move on. So, <laughs> so I quickly go from sixty five seventy to get out the way of this guy just riding my bumper killing my like time your vibe and uh and i quickly for some reason hit 105 <laughs> that's that's not a good time now for two, i mean it's a good time but now it's not for a good two time hours for long. i've been doing 65 yeah and and this one time i do 105 literally for whoop, whoop. for 15 seconds i think it was that was all maybe 15 it, that's pushing it like 10 to 15 seconds cop is right there i haven't seen a cop the whole time i was doing 65 the whole two hours i have never seen a cop on they're the road. invisible i even said to myself before i did it i haven't seen a cop in a while <laughs> literally right there it's like it's yeah. like the universe was like yeah that was funny like you know you know how people say the it's like you look in the mirror and he's not there and then you're like man i'm glad there's not a Oh wait! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I pull over. He I just see shifted him. a lane. Like I literally, I hit the hundred and five. I immediately know he he got out the lane for me. He doesn't even have his lights on yet. He got out the lane for me. I pulled over. I'm <laughs> you pulled, just did he it. He doesn't even have his lights on. I'm pulled over. I'm already know. I'm I'm guilty. Like I, you saw me, sir. I'm not even Here gonna you waste go. your time. <laughs> you saw me. He he turns the lights on. He gets behind me. He did, and he just comes to the thing. He's like, license registration. He doesn't even ask me, you know what I'm pulling you over? Yeah, no. He's just like, you know why you're here. I give him license registration. He gives me a ticket. I'm just like, immediately? Yeah, just immediately. Just ticket. He's like. I guess he knew that you He's like, knew. drive slower. <laughs> he knew. And he followed me for a good while. Because after I shit. told my friends this story, they were like, dude, you were like 40 over the speed limit. You could have gotten to jail for that, dude. Yeah. I was like, I had no idea. That's Slow down. Maybe he was like, maybe that's why he followed me for a while. Maybe he, he saw the like, the bug guy riding your bumper and he's like, no, fuck that guy. You're getting a ticket, <laughs> but fuck that guy. If he goes any faster, he's going to jail. But what's crazy is that day as yeah. I'm getting to Syracuse, I fuck hate off. I hate Syracuse now just because as I'm getting closer to Syracuse, like that 30 minutes, it's as not it's a great place 20, to be 10, honest. 10, I yeah, I don't care. They scare them all. I'm not really That's, big a dude. They, <laughs> I'm sorry, Syracuse. They have the orange and a mall. They, they, I even asked the people in Syracuse, like, what is it here to do? They said, if you're not in the college, it's just this mall. You can drink and alcohol. They said you do drugs. That's yeah. li- well, that's. Yeah. I went to TGI Fridays at the mall and asked them, what is there to do here that is fun while I'm here? He said, if you don't go to the college. You do drugs. Yeah, more or less. That's literally the answer mm-hmm. I got. I can't. And, it up. And, to but a lesser, as I'm going there, to a lesser extent, Rochester. But go ahead. But as I'm going there, I see ten other, ten to fifteen other cops like pulling over people. So I'm like, oh, they were just trying to get a check. Oh, I've, absolutely. Do you remember what day it was? Do you know if it's uh, the end of the end of the month? Uh, it That's how it is. End of the month. It was, I know it was the summertime though. Yeah. Well. Well, real quick, before we get to the last segment, and then we'll do your plugs, I'm just going to make sure everything's recording, make sure we're all good. That'd be hilarious if it wasn't. That's why it's like, so if if anything, the audio's good. I can oh. see the audio. I cannot see the video. Gotcha. So we're going to double check. We'll be right back. And we're back. So, Paul, uh, we're going to end it with some impressions. So we're going to have you. How much you time do we have left? Really quick. We got about 10 minutes, 20 minutes. All right. Maybe 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes. So I'm going to give you three impressions, Boom. and you got to do these impressions to the best of your abilities. Okay. okay. So do you want – I want you to give me a category, and then I'll pick from that category. Like cartoon, actress, actor, Fuck. whatever you want. Um, can it be multiple? I mean, you, there's three. I'm terrible at impressions. No, I know, but just pick – like pick a box for me to pick out of because I'm like – with everyone, I I get weird. Let's uh, first category. Let's start cartoons. Cartoons. Okay, so I want you to do um, plankton. You got to do plankton, <laughs> and you got to say, uh, "I'm 
at, I'm gonna take over the world, but I am small. So you got to do like the powerful, smart part at first, and then you got to do like, but I'm small. Like you know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take over the world, and then I'm small. Well, so Plankton, he he thinks that if he gets the power, he's great. Great businessman though, because his I, ideas are great. His ideas he, are great. I'd, for someone that doesn't quit, he's he's putting the determined. effort in. Determined. He is determined. I will say that. Determined. I wish I had Plankton's de, de, <laughs> determined tenacity. Tenacity. That's what it is. All right. Fuck. You got it. So I gotta say I gotta take over the world, but I'm. You're gonna say I will take over the world. I I I'm going to take over the world, but I am small. Okay. So Plankton was a grown man, kind of. So he would just be like. <laughs> As grown as he can be. As grown as he can be. He's a plankton. Um, I will take over the world! But I'm small. Yeah, I think, okay, good. But I'm small. I get there. You gotta, I, for me, I was, I would go, the, uh, take over the world. Like, oh, okay. you gotta, uh, uh, <laughs> what is this, that? this is Dragon Ball uh, Z now. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, your next one is uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. Oh, that one's a bad one. Hup, another one. Hup, oh yeah, here hup, 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 hup. Yep. Yep. That's that's my best. I <laughs> love I love doing Link. Give me a different one. Hup, different one. Hup. I believe it or not, didn't play hup, a lot of Zelda. I didn't play a lot of Zelda. Well, you know what he sounds like. Kind of. Excuse the dogs. There if there are dogs. Houston, we have a dog. That's a SNL. True, true, true. Tracy Morgan. He's great. Uh Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Before or after the accident? Well, you could do before. You could do Tracy Morgan in his prime. Tracy Morgan in his prime. All right. You got to do... Okay, so this is a classic moment, like a classic talk show moment where he's like, you hear that? That's a mating call for South <laughs> Texas. I'm coming. <laughs> you got to say that. I will start saying that about my belly. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's great. Every, every time, every I, time I feel Tracy down Morgan. about my belly, I'm just going to say, you hear that? <laughs> That's a mating call. Hold on, hold on. You hear that? That's a mating call from South Texas. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming, ladies. I'm coming. <laughs> Be with me when I get there. I need a. I, I need that's a, the way. I need a soup. <laughs> Not chicken noodle. I like chowder. <laughs> the callbacks are insane. That's what he said. That's great. I mean, he is more of a chowder man. He looks like more of a chowder he, he man. He definitely looks like a chowder man. I with think cheese. With ch- ooh, clam chowder, dog. Clam chowder, dog. I mean, sometimes you just be like fucking clam chowder, dog. Chicken noodle gives me gas. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I had minestrone, I got diarrhea. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so final impression. Can't collect a bank off of that accident, dude. <laughs> You got to do uh, Jack Black from School of Rock because that was a recent clip, at least from the recording of this. Give me an example. Um, you got to say. Uh, I think I do better with the examples. The man, the man tries to keep you down, but you got to make him read between the lines, and then that's well, that's when you hold up your fingers like this. Jack Black usually like. He's really he's intense. Yeah. Jack Black is intense. Okay, so <laughs> Can you say you got it, you got it. <laughs> it's intense. Okay, okay, okay. Do you know the line? You got okay, it? So the line goes, the man tries to keep you down, but you gotta read but in between the lines. Yeah, make but you get but make you gotta make him read between the lines. You gotta make him read between also, the lines. Also the camera, you you're kinda turning that way a little bit. Okay, but I, I gotta This is your that. prepare? Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> Give me an example. Give me an example of, of like, Jack Black real quick. Just, like... The man? I don't know. <laughs> okay, exactly. Okay. Please. You know, the, the man? The, the man? He's going to try to keep you down. But you got to make him read between the lines. All right? Read between the lines. Look, look at me, kid. Look at me, kid. Between the lines. Open your fingers up. Yeah, he's like. And when you open your fingers up, you see how you can see me? That's what you need to make the man do. Yeah. Make him see you between the lines. Yep. I, he's like, I know he does the, I'm El Capitano. Yeah? Yeah. That's, it means it's my house. Nacho Libre. He's like, Dude. <laughs> he's like, yeah. <"Hey>, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
Do you think Nacho Libre could be made today in this economy? Nope. Oh, well. I think Nacho Libre could be made with a Mexican r- Last, the last not, question. Not, not, not Jack Black. The last question I'll have, then you can plug your stuff. Okay. Is Tropic Thunder the most insane film that has ever been released in the past 15 years? Tropic Thunder. Have you seen it? I don't think I've seen it. Robert Downey Jr. plays a black guy. Who... Oh, I have not seen no. Tropic Thunder. So, so Robert Downey Jr. plays an Australian he... man who is an actor on a film set, and the Australian man is playing a black man. So he is playing an Australian man who is playing a black man. So Robert Downey Jr. did blackface? Within the last 15 years. And it's it's honestly... No. I think... No, if, no. if you watch the movie, dude, you might change your thoughts of me saying that because it's one of the most true to life performances i've ever seen like he literally in the movie he has a line that says i'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude and that's like the whole thing of like it's calling attention to itself rather than just having him in blackface so it's like it makes sense can i say one thing yeah i'm a huge fan of animated movies that's well it isn't i know but (laughs) because ben stiller wrote and directed it also, they say the R word a lot. See? You know? I can't, man. Yeah. It's, it's not a PC film, I wouldn't say. It's, it's the, it's the, you know what's funny? That guy made The Secret Life of Walter Mitty soon afterwards. And that's like, like a pursuit of happiness type, like I'm live your on dreams. The of happiness I meant the Will Smith movie. I, but, I know. That movie yeah. made me cry. That's Secret Life of Walter Mitty. It's in the same vein. You know what movie almost made me cry yesterday? Yeah. No, I don't. Space Sweepers. What is that? That's on Netflix right now. Is it good? I almost cried, man, at the end. It, but is it like, it's so it's a, at least engaging. Oh, yeah. To the very. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I like the concept. Pass away, pace, da, da, da. Space Sweepers. Other than Space Sweepers, what do you want to promote on this podcast? Because we're at that time. I don't want to promote Space Sweepers. You Get just out. did. You just did. I just said it was a good movie. That's all. It almost made me cry. That's a promotion. Oh, okay, I guess. Okay. In a way, a short promotion. I guess I don't know. Who are you? Paul Knight. Okay. Where can people find you? They can find me. I now have a website. Yep. Uh, you can find me at paulknight.art, P-A-U-L-K-N-I-G-H-T dot A-R-T. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at P-A-U-L with another L and then K-N-I-G-H-T. So that's As Paul we've established. Knight. Yeah. Uh, you can also find that same thing on YouTube. That's P-A-U-L with another L, K-N-I-G-H-T. That's on YouTube. I make vlogs, I guess now every Sunday because people have been pressing me and trying to really think this is a drug consistency get, really yeah. honestly they're they're getting it people like it i get yeah it's lovely getting a 50 views on it i'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie i think it's honorable trust me i'm i'm in that same boat like anyone that'll sit here and listen to uh, even having, like 10 minutes of this is having wild. five people say yeah where the fuck is my youtube video at is insane to me yeah. and it's just beautiful like mm-hmm. th- that's music to my ears and i think we should we should end it with a very large, the largest shout out of the podcast, Lair Moo. Number shout two, out to Lair Moo. Number two, number two episode. He's dude. He's been gassing me up this whole time to do these Listen, podcasts. Lair Moo is a really great friend of mine. Talk Lair to Man, him every single day. Genius. That's my guy, Lair Moo. Shout out to him. Re, uh, only, reliable. Only six letters is his full name. Lovable. It's my guy. He's five, a small five. package of joy. He's that's, great. That's my hey. That's one of my closest friends. He's, he's I literally a, talk to him every day. I'm telling you, that's why I brought it up. I'm like, this man is oh legit our biggest fan. Listen, and man. he will like comment on all of our videos, both of them. He will have your back to the end. Hundred percent, dude. He's the man. I think he will assassinate somebody. Ah, uh, him you, and him and Brody, not far <laughs> off. Honestly, they both did MMA. If they you, both. If, but if you want, the first to, two guests of this podcast like could literally you, kill I feel like me if, if you they had wanted an to. Enemy, like, if you were like, yeah. oh, I hate that guy down the street, Lair would be like, where the fuck is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. He's missing. Lair's right? literally got He's knives, got your back. That's my guy swords. all the time. He's He leans into the ninja thing. And I also, will say check that. out Lair Moo's Twitch channel. 100%. He goes crazy every Chino single day. He's, he's now reached over 1,000 views. Hell yeah, man. He's, he's doing great. That's the shit. Got a new camera I saw. I'm a mod on there, too. So mm, me, hey, too. You know, I'll be there. I'll you be subscribe? There. Hey, absolutely. I'll be there. Hell yeah. Actually, I, didn't think, I don't think I did. Do you have Amazon Prime? I don't. 
Okay, well, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe oh, no, for actually, free. Actually, I think I do for from my school. Yeah, if you do, you can literally go on to Twitch streamers' things I, and I give them money. I don't know how money. Twitch works. I know how to follow him. Literally, you can – there's – if you put, like, 10 minutes of effort in, you'll figure it out. I'm sure you're savvy. Yeah. But that is honestly, like, they get money if you just subscribe to them. Right. And that's, like, Noah Asklar. He's my mm. other buddy. I mean. I know people can donate. Yeah. I know that. Well, that, that's another thing. But, like, people will have, um, uh, when you're affiliate, when you're an affiliate. Okay. That's, the more subscribers you Oh, so you can you subscribe have. a month? So there's, yeah, that's basically so what it like is. So it's like OnlyFans. More or less, but less uh, in your face about tits. You know, see my OnlyFans. I I'll be watching man be about games, man. Oh really? Yeah. Bro. Do they have games on OnlyFans? It's the dark web for the games. I thought it. Oh. Oh right. They teach you how to hack on the games, bro. Huh? I'm joking. I don't have an OnlyFans. You can not hit me. <laughs> well, I guess we'll end this on a confidential note. You're just bumping into things. I'm sorry, sir. Is this a pink and lemon? That is a uh, yeah salt lamb. Doug. Nice. Salt dude. sphere. Shout out Zoe. Can we end it like this? Hold on. Yeah. as a dog's call yeah no one's ever moved the the katana that's cool though no i like it i'm glad i i literally put it there so to see who would first getting the, I, I figured the uh yeah yeah i'd be touching shit. you know where that came from where that come from colorado really yeah i bought much? a katana in colorado because i was like this is a souvenir how much was it 50 dollars. i spent 50 bucks on a lot of things you know what they probably wanted to hear that <laughs> I will say, one critique I have on your vlogs, I don't give a shit what you're drinking, dude. Just get to the point. Just <laughs> You spent like to... 60 to 50 seconds on that. I and did. I'm like, I think it's... I'm about to click off of this. It's and then history at this point. I think no, you're, you're really... good. <laughs> you're engaged, man. You're engaged. I just wanted to talk a little shit. All right. That's always, dude. We're going we're gonna to You like the this. bloopers at that? Yeah, dude. It, any fuck-ups are... Or fantastic. Do you this see the, the quality difference? Well, right. That's the quality difference is getting crazy. Shout out to Raul and Richie for helping me with that. Raul and Ri- always shout out Raul and Richie for literally Richie teaching me uh, half of what I know. They they helped me get my literally. Problem. Raul taught me about what exposure was because of Richie. I spent twenty five dollars to let to get that gimbal. I should have never said that. But <laughs> how much I spent? But <laughs> it's fun. take out that part. I spent X X amount I on <laughs> on that gimbal because he let me use it. That's what I shot the Calvin Klein thing with. Nice. There you go. I don't think that could have been done without him. Shout out, Richie. I would have had the handheld, all that. Hundred percent. And that's the that's the thing about plugs is that when we get into our plugs, we really can't help but plug other people because we can't be anywhere without everyone one, else. One key tip in life: if there's one thing that you do take with a lot of this stuff, it's not what you know a lot of the times, but who you know, because and who you you're nice lot, to. Yep, because you can get a lot of things done, and you can. Get a lot of places if you are knowing the right people and they're cool with you and you're cool with them. And in that same vein, if you're getting into that for the sole purpose of being popular and you're not making genuine relationships, you can fuck off. Yeah. Because that won't work. Yeah. So, I, but there's also, you know, that's why I was like, it's slightly also what you know, because if you're just yeah. stupid. Well, nobody. you got to bring something to the table. Nobody. You're not going to be invited to the party if you don't bring anything. Nobody's going to be. Everybody's just going to be like, why'd you invite him? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just annoying and interrupts he's people just, a lot. Yeah. That could be both of us. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably what they're saying. <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> and they're like, well, he was in a 48 hour film festival and he shot for Calvin yeah, Klein. So. Yeah. They're doing something. They're doing, I guess we'll fucking tune in. I guess. But thanks, Paul. It's been, Thank you it's been for a having me. good time. It's been a pleasure. I think we took too long, but it's it'll be fine. Hey, man, we're two talkative people. I think, wait, when's your birthday? 22nd. July? Yeah. Yeah, that's my man. What are I'm you? the 10th. Yeah, we're cancer boys, too. No, that's all right. I remember. We're just going to straight cry all day. Uh, the sun hits me a certain way, dude. <laughs> sun, if, if I'm staring out the glass, the sun hits me at a 45. Yeah. I think it was like 50. Bro. Single tear. One single tear, dude. Yeah. I li- that literally happened to me one time. <laughs> I was on the bus. I remember just thinking about bullshit. Dude, I was, on, I was in high school, yeah. Punch Tech. I was going, because I used to work at McDonald's for my first one of my oh, first jobs. Right. I was going to McDonald's to work. I was on the bus, and the sun hit me, and I was listening to Drake. <laughs> and I swear to God, I can't make this up. You I can't s- let a cancer listen to Drake. I swear. Never let a cancer listen I to Drake. I swear, bro, I can't make this up. I no. literally was on the I was on the window seat. And I, was <laughs> window to, seat. I was listening to Drake. And and the sun hit me and one tear dropped right down. Cinema, that's and, that's cinema. And at that moment, that's when I knew. And you were like, uh, 
You know, in that hotline bling. <laughs> it was not hotline bling. bling. It was definitely like Marvin's room. Like, this is the only. Hello. That's the only Drake song I could think of. But it would also be hilarious if you started crying to hotline bling. That would be. So. If you cry to hotline bling, you have a problem. You should. That's true. You should probably go see somebody. All right. We're going to end this. All right. I shouted Bada you boom, out. Boom, boom, dop, ba, boom, boom. How do you. Uh, are we going to do that to end it? Is that the I end? I don't know. I don't so know. give me a. Give me a. Um, a scat. Give me, give me your best scat to end the episode. Like what you just did. That's a scat. Oh, is it? Bada dee bop bop bada boo. Bada dee beep boo. Beep boo bop bop. Bada boo. Boom. See you later. Goodbye. That's good. I like that. I like that.